Much appreciated. Also, Bella, welcome into the stream, my friend. Hello. And time starts. Okay. Let's go again. Technically. Let's go again, shall we? So, we've got a little bit of downtime now. So, yeah, that's weird. I'm going to have to look and see the reason why. Also, Cal Morta Dios, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you. Yeah, go fast. Go fast again. <laughs> thank you, Morta. <laughs> oh, there's always going to be like a first try situation, but I feel like maybe because we don't have anything assigned for the game time in a sense of nuts is why it didn't count. Maybe I have to actually... I'm going to write a message to Aaron quickly. Um, say, uh, track game time in splits. Question mark. Look into. So, I'm going to look into that soon because I'm thinking maybe it didn't properly start tracking game time. I don't know. First time I've done an auto splitter. Aaron, please. <laughs> Don't reply back to me. No, god damn it. You love my shirt. Thank you very much. I think I've got it on Amazon actually. So those who want the uh the um that cats. <laughs> there we go. Alright. And run begins properly. Now you saw this game on PlayStation, looks pretty interesting game. Claybird, I would recommend playing this. If you have the opportunity to, I would thoroughly recommend playing this game. Again, I've pretty much invested a lot of my time into like uh, playing this off and on to try and get the auto splitter working. So I've been literally playing this game a lot. If somebody could go to my Steam profile, I can tell me how many hours I've got in this game already. I love you, Beard. Where can I buy a replica? Um, the internet. I don't know. All right, BRB, no worries, Rosa, no worries. All right. Here we go. There we go. Yeah, 61 hours already. 61 hours already, which is kind of crazy. Yes, Aaron technically has invested a lot of time into this in a different way. That's that's true. Mr. Waldo, I see you did a frame request there. I'll add you up a little bit later on, absolutely. Mi gusta. That's a good meme. Also... Uh, Pia Guito, is, uh, is it? No, it's Plia Guito. Thank you very much for the follow as well. Welcome into the stream. Right, let's go. Run has officially started. Jarvis has also invested a lot of time into this as well. That's true. So again, it's all about the optimization of movement is pretty much what we need to do. And there's some cool, there's some cool tricks. Bella, thank you very much for the luck. Also, so lag. I'm gonna go fast. Don't you worry. I'm gonna go fast. That's the, that's the, the hopeful intention, isn't it? Right. <laughs> All right. Yep, 791 hours of Alien, but that's not all the hours, because don't forget, I do have some time on the Switch. Audio doubled. Can somebody double check that, please, if the audio is doubled? It shouldn't be. Can somebody double check that, please? I think I might know why. Yes, I know why. There we go. There we go. I fixed it. It was my NDI. It was my NDI that was sending a signal as well. So technically, Rosa was correct. Technically, Rosa was correct. Yeah, the game audio. So I fixed it. It's all good. It should be fine now, everyone. Thank you for making me very aware. It's, see, you see what I just did there? That little, um, uh, that little go to the menu bit. That's because I was pressing enter at the wrong time, basically. Uh, we need to be careful with the pressing of enter. So yeah, I, I figured out what it was. It's because my OBS NDI which is sending my live split audio through my two PCs so I can have the full game on display. Uh, that's what it was. That's what the extra audio has been sent. So I fixed that and we're all Gucci now. Thank you very much, Rosa, for pointing that out. Um, I had to do like a very quick fix today as well. Also, some cool tricks is you can just jump here. Um, so you don't have to go all the way down to the bottom of the rope. We will be utilizing that a few times throughout the game of just like, uh, optimi like say optimization of jumping so we can um, just save a few seconds off um, through not having to climb down the whole way. You got to pause at a kid looking at the camera. Oh, did I? Oh, nice. All right, so meet our friend Everett. Oh, by the way, during the whole of my playthrough, I kept on calling the kid Emirates. I don't know where I got that name from. But the, the, the kid could be called Nut, Aaron. It could. Thank you, Rosa. <laughs> I don't know where I got Emirates from. The airline? I don't know. Air 
Emirates. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, it took me a second to realize what you meant there, Bogley. Oh, like, yeah. nice. Oh, there we go. Steering wheel percent when? Soon. So like soon. I've said that I'll be down for it, so why not, right? There we go. Okay. I'm excited to just, like, get this run down. I'm excited because, as you guys know, as I've been saying again, I've been spending a lot of time with the auto splitter, so... It's good to see, like, the run is coming into fruition. I, like, I'm hoping that very soon, um, we can definitely, uh, improve the auto splitter a little bit through different, uh, value, uh, checking stuff. But we'll see. Yo, Just Pixie. Eight months, Dizzy Face, just dropped in to give you my prime, winking face. <laughs> I may not be around for a while, having a baby in 20. Oh my goodness, days. me! Dizzy Face, love you, Nick Nickum. Just Pixie, I hope that uh, the the birth giving which is the weirdest way of saying it i hope that the the birth giving goes extremely well and congratulations buddy um all the best from us and all the best i hope it all goes very very well thank you so much for the eight months and the prime gaming as well you absolute legend but no keep us updated if you can keep us updated i hope it all goes smoothly and that you uh that you all be fine at the end of it all but uh thank you so much for for being here as well. Oh, slice you open like bread. <laughs> oh boy. That's one way of saying it. <laughs> All right, here we go. One sec. Nice. What the hell is even that? Great meme. Cookie, great meme. <laughs> Cookie, good to see you as well. Nice. Nice. But I, I, like I say, I really do hope it goes smoothly. Recovery goes well. You look after yourself and be well, yeah? But thank you so much for po poking your head in and being, and just being here. It's lovely to see you, my friend. It's lovely to see you. Thank you for eight months, though. Good Lord. Eight months, man. That's wild. All right. Uh, where were we in this run? Okay, so, so for example, that little drop down there, that's technically not a, a good optimization. But again, I'm going to be properly trying to find optimizations uh, for... All the bits yeah. of jumping. Put that ass. Put that ass. Put that ass. Put that ass. I'm gonna strut it, don't you worry. I'm gonna strut it, don't you worry. Thank you, Waldo. Alright, so we place the box here. Jump up. Go left. And I miss it. Of course I miss it. Damn, so this is a time save that we can have immediately. There we go. Just so you can grab the end of that that little bit there and die. Great. I was itching my nose. God damn it. So we'll be doing another run soon of which I can actually save time. God no! damn it. Two great. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. Better come down here and get some of this shit. Two great memes in a row. Two great memes in a row. Nice. So yeah, I best I just gotta not itch my nose forehead. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. That's <laughs> two other great memes in a row. God damn it! <laughs> I don't know. Oh my! <laughs> Everybody's wanting in on the memes today. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> This is amazing, and I laugh every moment so far. So far. All right, here we go. We're coming up to the end of chapter one, by the way. For those who want to know what chapters are and stuff like that, we're coming up to the end of chapter one. Here we go. All right. I mean, you're not wrong, Cookie. You're not wrong, man. That's a lot of points, to be fair. Are you burped? Wow. So, lag. Like, <laughs> thank you for the 17 so like and thank you for remembering oh oh is that like your tradition then I, I, <laughs> thank you for the 17 so like i appreciate that i appreciate that jj j joma jameson maybe i don't know oh you qa lead okay well maybe we should get jj and me to do a race then jarvis all right, here we go. 
and split. J. Jonah with Jameson. Right? You just love that meme. Perfect. Yo, is this cat dance percent? I mean, it could be. Dave the Emerald, it could be. Hey, buddy, welcome into the stream. Lovely to see you. All right. Chapter one is where we're going to start showing off some fun things. And it's mostly like the uh, one of the only main missions where we start doing uh, a major glitch. There's no other real major glitches in the run yet. I'm sure, like, because I know that Green Snow Dog is uh, going to be hopefully joining the ranks of uh, the speedrunners, so you never know. But um, this is where we're going to show off a major glitch. And I like it. I like you very, very much. All right, here we go. Optimization of, like, just uh, turning and jumping. Watch your profanity. No, you watch your profanity, Cookie. No, you watch your profanity. <laughs> no, you. No, you. No, you. Now, jump here. Change the universe because you can actually sit on that little bit there, um, that little platform, and that actually trips me up a few times. So I'm going to jump, uh, change universes before we get to that little platform so we can actually go down this rope efficiently. Now, fun little thing here is if you press S and switch universes, you can actually de like um, quickly deload the door animation to get through the door quicker. So that's something that you can do. So quite a few times, depending on some doors, you'll see me switch universes uh, to to get rid of that animation, basically. Yeah, speedruns, Lord Mouse. Speedruns indeed. I, it's, I, I like to say, I've been very, very invested with this speedrun. Oh, wrong way. Here we go. So, there we go. I was thinking to like a later mission bit, so that's me. Hacking with the UI of a website so you can get a volume slider into your page. Ooh, that sounds cool, actually. I'm intrigued now. I'm intrigued. This that is smart. It's really, really. It, it helps out. Like even with a few seconds. Like these seconds accumulate, as I'm sure you can imagine. So we got to try and find like little optimizations here and there, Jarvis. And uh, that one is a good one. All right, jumping up. Get up the rope. No, you're a later mission. Hi, Waluigi. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Oh my goodness me. Happy Hungover Monday. I hope the hangover clears quickly. Key gem music sign of Deadfort. Nobody needs a volume tuner. Oh. Uh, right. I get you. I get you. I get you, Lord Mouse. Well, hopefully they'll be they'll be uh, they'll be benefiting from your UI hacking and stuff like that. And uh and take your changes on board. Here's hoping. These seconds out uh, Wardo, please. <laughs> Mordo, please! God damn it! Well, that says more about you than me, okay? So there we go. <laughs> Alright, where were we? So, here's the fun bit. We, we, down. Hey, I didn't say it. All our friends said it. That's all I'm saying. I, 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 how could I possibly respond to something like that? They're talking about their uh, time. Uh -huh. By the way, we don't even need to interact with Everett here. We can just literally get the key and skedaddle skadoodle. That's literally all we gotta do. Wardo, I love you, buddy. <laughs> you tell me if I'm being too mean, okay? You tell me if I'm being too mean. But as always, it's friendly jipes. All right, here we go. So we can now jump up to the rope. We got the key that we needed. And here we go. Oh, let's try and go fast again. So, uh, when we go up these bits, you've got to change uh, the universes to jump up. And up we get again. One more time. And... Nice throw. Nice throw. <laughs> that was a really good timing of meme. Really good timing of meme, actually, Lord Vows. Nice. Nice. <laughs> All right. So, we're going to be meeting Nash for the very first time. Skipping through their dialogue. You didn't expect that timing. And uh, that's why random meme is you know perfect. Hi, Moogle. Because I'm about to turn left, and I don't want to smack you with my dick. Well, maybe you should aim better. <laughs> no. I don't know. Hi, Moogle. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome into the stream also. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Moogle, hopefully all is well, and you're keeping good as well. It's lovely to see as always. Now... This is another fun little bit here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump down. We're going to move this block over to the right. 
To the right, to the right, to the right. Change universe. One, two, three, four, five, six. We change universe. One, two, three, four. And then we move it. So that's the exact movements that you need to do for that little section. It's a six and four. And then you uh, you have that block, like, block like, directly center. Jump. Change universe. Jump. God damn it. Ha! <sighs> At least I've got time to save, so that's not too bad. But I just missed the jump there. Shit. Let's do that again, shall we? And I missed it again. Fantastic. And I moved a block. Fantastic. Time to save. <laughs> God damn it! This is a good start. Oh, we're going to be doing a few runs today, by the way. So if I don't get it like perfectly timed this way, then we've got time to save in the future. So there we go. Yeah, PD... That's a, that's a paddling. That's a paddling. Oh, God damn it. I need to recenter and refocus. I'm an idiot. Okay, now. Here's where a fun bit can happen. So we're going to push the block once. We're going to jump across. Not get trapped in the universe. Move here. Still going to read this bit a little bit better. And then we're going to move this block all the way to the left. Then jump across. Move this about here. Jump up. And then get the key. So we don't need to move that small block there. We can just use those two uh, uh, those two blocks and then we're all Gucci. So not too bad so far. Here's where we're going to be introducing the very first major glitch. It's still railroad record pace, so who are we getting right? It's just a, it's just a, it's just going to be a, a uh, 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 just go fast, basically. So here we go. Watch this, everybody. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. And then do the same again. And we're across. Perfect. It's a, it's, a, it's a fun glitch because we're going to be utilizing that very shortly as well. Uh, almost immediately. So, we're going to go down this way and jump off. Change universe so we can jump down all the way. Then go to this one. Enter. Change universe again. Up we go. And across. And then, this is where the fun begins, okay? So, we're going to go to here. You see, there's a key up there. We got the key. Now. One, two, three, four, five. And we skip meeting the doggy. We're ready into Millville. <sighs> there we go. Huge skip. It's a huge skip. You know too much. Time to take you down. No you. <laughs> no you. Hi, Cognor. Welcome into the stream also. Um, uh, hell of a Sunday yesterday. Tailgated before the Red Bulls home opener, which explains the hangover. Sure. Saw a neat game of soccer, but alas, the home team conceded the goal. Uh, it resulted in a 1-0 loss to Minnesota United. I, I don't know football, so. Uh, but it sounds like you had a good time. Waluigi sounds like you had a good time. Bakuta. Oh my goodness me. Hi, buddy. Bakuta with the gift of sub to Hell of Heaven. Hell of Heaven, welcome into the stream again also. And enjoy the gift of sub that you received. GG. Bakuta, thank you very, very much for the 25th gift of sub to the channel, you absolute legend. Thank you so, so much, buddy. And I hope you're doing well, man. El Porco, hello to you also. Welcome into the stream. Now, here's something fun I like to do. So watch this. Watch this. And. Ha! Ah, I love that every time. Basically, you're just changing universe to the exact same point that you need to be. And then you just press S immediately, go into the cutscene. It's, it's a. It's a oh, I love that. I love that. Um, it took so long to find somebody about gift this up. <laughs> We've had a sub even. You cheeky bitch. Because you cheeky bitch. But no, seriously, thank you so much, man. And I've, I appreciate the luck as well. I appreciate that. Uh. Also, here we go. And we're going to be coming up very soon to chapter one end. Very soon, chapter one end. Also. Oh, hi, Amazon. 
Uh, so my time is still on as well, so I might need to turn that off because it was just for a singular stream. But I'll keep it on for today. I'll keep it on for now. I'll keep it. All right, so we're going to be coming into a cutscene shortly. Skipping through, so... Make sure you give your hands furrow breaks. Izzy Choo Choo, welcome into the stream also. Hello to you. Now, make sure you give your hands, like, good breaks in between. Because there is a lot of, like, uh, t uh, like you know, S and enter going on, if you know what I mean. And you don't want to get yourself RSI and stuff like that as well. So you want to make sure they take breaks. When we get the auto splitter, I've bet I've bet um, the speedrun time in question. Uh, when you do go to the like the like the, when it brings you back to the menu point, and it will be the uh, the the, the in-game time will pause. I'm going to allow a two-minute to three-minute break so that you can stand up and stretch and go to the toilet as well. Because obviously we're not going to do it for this one just because like um, we don't have the auto splitter working stuff, but. For future runs, once we do have the auto splitter, we'll be allowing a two to three minute break, so you can like so you can go stretch, you can go to toilet, go get some water. As long as you're constantly on camera, then that's the most important thing because we need to make sure that um, you know if, if you weren't on camera, then you might be doing something else in the background. So for fidelity's sake, if you are going to be taking a break, then it is a case of being on the camera. But again, I'm just making the rules up in my head; it's not confirmed. But I thought it might be at least a cool little idea to ensure runner health. Because, as we all know, there's some insanely long runs, like, you know, the Final Fantasy stuff. Um, take the camera with you to the bog. <laughs> of course, I'm doing. Like, that's what everyone wants to do, right? Hell of heaven. Are turbo buttons allowed the speed runs? Or would that be tool assisted? <sighs> On a vibe of tool assisted... I guess on a Viber Tool Assisted. By the way, that's the end of the run. That's the end of the run. I lied. And split. Sick me, Slays. Welcome into the stream also. Hopefully you're well. Now, there we go. I split at the wrong time. So at least I was able to take back the split. Um, I'd say the no turbo buttons would be allowed for the runs because that's kind of like, you know, that's not you inputting, if that makes sense. And it's... Uh, it's unfair to those who don't have turbo buttons and stuff, so... Uh, oh, here we go. See Nash, Nash go to Splash, Splash Nash. Exactly, Steven Space Sheep, exactly. Doing it in 22 minutes is okay. I mean, 22 minutes so far is pretty damn decent. I'm not going to complain. Here we Oh, God, see? That's what I keep on talking about, is pressing the Enter key to go to the menu. It's a little bit of an annoyance, but it's all about... Uh, you can do another category. What category are you thinking, Aaron? Mm-hmm. You still love task runs? No, no, no. Here's the thing. I am very down for a tool assisted speed run. Um, but tool assisted usually is going to be the case of the like the program doing it for you. So you don't have to touch it. I'd be very down to see a tool assisted speed run of this because there's probably some things that you could do in task that like obviously aren't going to be humanly achievable, but be really, really cool. Also, Brasildo, welcome into the stream also. Hello, hello. Um... Dev works a nice long weekend, so you caught up on much sleep. I'm glad you did that, buddy. Glad you took you caught up on your sleep. And my sleep's been a little bit wild, but I managed to fix it last night by <laughs> sleeping at 6 a.m. or waking up at 12. That's what fixed it, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> but no, I, I managed to fix my sleep schedule. I've been working hard on the speed run. It's been a it's been a nice weekend. Even with the with with bit of weird sleep, it's been a good weekend. So just uh, one day at a time, obviously. But I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And Brasilda, hopefully you're doing well also, buddy. Okay. Here we go. So here's where we're going to be also utilizing that same major glitch, but only for one little purpose. You'll see very shortly what I mean. And it will allow us to do a thing. It will allow us to do a thing. So by the way... For those who are wondering, that key that we got in our inventory right now, we're not supposed to have this right now. We're not supposed to have this key because uh, we're supposed to have used this key for a door earlier on. So we've kind of like stacked a key. Now, oh, um, we need to bring this one over here quickly. Five, five, six, seven. Okay. So we're going to move this block over to the right. Who says? Who says what? Maybe do. Maybe I'll do what? I'm confused. My brain goes 100 miles an hour. What are we talking about again? 
All right, so we're going to go through here, jump up. And here we go. Nice. Change universe so we can skip through here quite easily. We could actually jump up there a little bit easier, but I just missed the jump. Uh, glad you flicked your sleep schedule too. Burnout is too real. It's such a true thing, unfortunately. It is honestly because I've been investing my, my time too much into um, into the life flip coding that I don't even realize where the time goes. Programmers will like will say that's an absolute mood, actually. Hi, I'm Jack Cameron. Oh, really? Oh, here we go. Need a new refrigerator? There we go. Almost a whole year of watching a fantastic wholesome Aww. human being. And by the way, skip that door. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, we skipped that door completely, and now we've got a stack key. So, now we've got two keys in our inventory. We've got two keys in our inventory. And we're going to be keeping one key all the way to chapter five. Also, Lender Ninja, 11 months, buddy. Thank you so, so much for 11 months. And uh, I hope you're doing well. You're looking after yourself today as well. Thank you so much for just being here and your generosity and kindness. Also, yeah, happy Pi Day as well. Happy Pi Day. Ooh. Yes. Len, welcome in, buddy. I'm doing all right today. I'm actually doing okay. I've managed to fix the sleep cycle, so doing good. And how are you? How's your day treating you so far? Uh, Blind Virtue, welcome into the stream as well. Hello. All right, so we're going to be pushing this box down over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to back around. We're going to push this ice block over to the left. We're then going to move the box one step to the right, jump up, and then move the ice block all the way to the left and this one as well. What we're then going to do is we're going to jump up, change universe, move it one step to the right outside of the key, move the ice block, change universe again, and then we can use it as a, as stepping stones or like, you know, stairs, basically. It's a quick and easy way of doing it. So then what we're going to be doing is moving this to the left. Change universe. Throwing it over to the right. Throwing this one over to the right. And then we're going to be jumping up and there again with the stairs. And then using that key that we just got to the universe uh to the key changing universes uh, to the door even changing universes then that's what we do there we go if you think it might offend then maybe be careful on doing it that's uh eldering fanboys uh i don't know Elden Ring. i've watched eldering but i don't know much shep oh my goodness me hi shep <laughs> Forgot to copy your Ray message. <laughs> hey, Raiders from Shep Stream. My name is Nico Hart. Full time stream on Twitch. Variety games, speedruns, and steering wheel speedruns. Now, with the stacked keys that I mentioned, we can skip doing this whole bit down here. So, that's the thing that we can do there. So, let me just try and get you a shout out message at the same time. Let's see, Shep. There we go. There we go, Shep. I'm not going to do a trailer for now just because we are in the midst of a new debut speedrun, by the way. Debut speedrun. This is going to be world records. It's not even learning. This is the debut. Shep, this is the debut. So, this is the first time it's ever been showcased on Twitch, on YouTube. This is a full-fledged speedrun, and this is going to be immediate world record, which we're going to submit to the boards of uh, speedrun.com. So hopefully, we can allow to get some more speedrunners to verify the times and to showcase their runs as well. So it's exciting times. Shep, how was Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus? Did you have a good stream? Thank you so, so much for bringing over your community. It's an absolute delight to have you guys. Welcome in. All right, so... So basically, just Soulsborne uh, fanatics, basically, is what you're trying to say. And I'm just kind of like, whoosh again. I don't get it. I'm not a Soulsborne person, so don't, like any kind of like Soulsborne jokes goes a little bit over the head. <laughs> All right. Should be coming up to end of chapter two soonish. I love how we just like froze down a lifeless body. It's hilarious, actually. So instead of like having to do like all the bits around here, like, you know, exploring stuff like that. It's going to be quite convenient because what we're literally going to be doing is just literally pressing S here and we can just go immediately to sleep. Easy. Easy. You got a bit done in the game and nice deep conversation in general. Was nice to get over some fear of going live due to recent events. Shep, even pressing the go live button is a huge step. 
Some people don't realize that. Some people can like it's a hard, like it's hard for some people to press go live. So be proud of yourself for pressing to go live and having a good stream, good conversation, all the things surrounding, and be proud of you and yourself, okay, buddy? Be proud of you, yeah? Hi, Mr. Blue. Welcome into the stream. It's lovely to see you as well. Hopefully, you're doing good. What's good, man? What's good? What's good? All right. So, our first meeting of... <laughs> oh, I love that. I just love that reveal of Barris. I love that reveal. Just... <laughs> Uh, better to have a starting off screen. No, no, absolutely. Like, it, like, gives you time to kind of like mentally prep after you press go live as well. So that's a whole thing as well. So it's a good time. Oh, hey, Yo Zero. Oh, hey, buddy. Welcome in. Hopefully you're good and you're keeping chill. Welcome in. I think this is the end of chapter two coming up. No, not yet. Yeah, very, very soon. Uh, anxiety when you had, yeah. Um. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, man. Yeah. Uh, made you worry to do it. It's just a lot to overcome, of course. And it never takes any amount of time. It literally takes any amount of time. So you need to be uh, comfortable with doing anything first. So glad you found that comfort level, which is important. Marcy, welcome in as well to the stream. Hello. Um, uh, that was a bad idea. Let's, uh, let's, let's move off that little comfort there. Like... Uh, streamers are allowed to do what they want to do. We shouldn't let anybody uh, tell anyone what to do. So we'll we'll just move Splash. on. We'll move on a little bit from that. We'll move on. Hi, traveling quiz. Do exclamation mark hello. Do exclamation mark hello. Do exclamation mark hello. Fucking seal of Orikalkos. I can raise it up a little bit. I've raised everybody's sound effects up a little bit, so... Oh, that one's not... Uh, that one's deactivated for a little bit, Mechanic. That one's deactivated for just a little bit. But hi, Mechanic. Welcome in as well to the stream. Traveling Inquisitor. You're cute. Derecka. Good to see you as well, you glue thieving bastard. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Glue thieving bastard. <laughs> Amazing. No. All right, chapter two end is coming up, everyone. And there we go. Chapter. That's a nuts. That's a nuts. Uh, yours is up too as well, Shep. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Um, failing doesn't do anything. Yep, failing does nothing. Bang, okay. Splash. <laughs> that combo should not have worked, but it did. I don't know. <laughs>Marcy with seven months of support with the subscription format. Thank you very, very much, Marcy. I hope you're keeping well and doing good today. Lovely to see you and it's lovely to have you as well, buddy. Thank you so much. I, oh, you're just here. Um, thank you so much for seven months. Hugely appreciated and enjoy the emotes, animated emotes, ad free viewing. All the good things in between. Explain what I'm doing in just a second for you guys. For those who are intrigued, the wrecker. Also, Quizzy, how the streams be coming along as well? I hope all is good on the stream side of things. Right, so here's a fun little thing. Here's a fun little thing. Jumping with boxes is faster than holding it and walking. So I'll show you guys properly in a second. Let's bring this down. You get the box. So here we go. You can see that we're just uh, jumping, just moving just a little bit faster. So we are going to be utilizing that a lot through the run as well for like optimization of movements, basically. Um, hope to return to work soon. Yo, I hope that goes well. Marcy, I hope the return to work goes well. And that's a, uh, it'll be like a smooth transition, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm doing all right. Marcy, I'm doing all right. Sleep is all caught up. So I'm doing good. So I can't complain right now. I can't complain. And Traveling Inquisitor, they're a vibe and doing the usual, man. Hope you've been good. I've been good, man. I'm glad that your streams have been good as well. Um, yours, uh, you, know, you know you always move faster when you jump holding a box instead of walking with it. I mean, as true to real life, am I, am I right, Klaganok? Right? Yeah, momentum boost while duping. Duping. Jumping. 
What the fuck's duping? <laughs> you can tell my brain is going 100 miles an hour, so I, I don't know. I don't know. So, um, chapter two plays out quite casually as well. Um, there is going to be some optimizations which I do need to, like, write down properly, especially for, like, these little bits here. So... When it comes to like box positions and stuff like that, it, I'm still trying to get it like absolutely perfect, but it's gonna take a bit of time, okay? It's gonna take a bit of time. So, uh, let's move this box here. Move that there. Bring it down. And we'll jump down. Put the box on here. Oh, almost. We can jump back up. And then put this onto here we can then jump back around get all the way down and then as we're coming up now go all the way to the side pick it up and just if you're doing the nick of time then it should not count for bringing the box back up basically so it's all about like how quick that platform is going to move up and down. So you want to be careful a little bit. Okay, that's fine. I thought the platform was going to keep on going up and down. So we don't need to worry. All right. So we need the two boxes up here. We don't have to put the box all the way to the, to the edge of it. Because we can jump up a little bit towards the edge. And now we're here. Joomp and Duke. <laughs> um, Joomp, Duke. Deep, Doge and Dodge. I fucked it up already. Where did the jump come into that? Duck, duck, dodge, dip, dive, dodge. Anyway, what was I talking about? I don't know. Hi, my name's Nick. I'm an idiot. Uh, what? <laughs> All right, dude, <Doogie>, exactly. <laughs> and we got some more dialogue here to skip. So again, I feel like, you know, a good bit of time save or loss between runs is going to be between the act of like how fast you are entering S and enter. Um, because like I know some people are very good with their like their keyboard mashing skills, so they could probably advance through the dialogue very very quickly. <laughs> Doom Duke, a U U, what's a U U? I don't know what Waluigi. What is that a U U? I don't know. Uh, right. So I feel like this little bit here can be optimized further. I don't know the best strategy just yet, but this is my strat for now. So we're gonna put this over to here, and then we're gonna place the box on it. And then we're going to go jumping over to bring this platform down so that we can use it to put onto the box. Here we go. So grab it here. You need your last paw, big iron. Oh, there we go. Thank you for that. Now, we're going to take both boxes with us. And we're going to place a, like just a one uh, box in between so that we can actually get to uh, jump a little bit easier. We're going to bring this platform around again. Jarvis, thank you for the random meme, by the way. And stop. So we're going to jump up into here. Get, grab this box here. And move it up. Move it on up. No, you got me trying. Move it on up. Now, I'm not going to put this uh, platform all the way to the top. Yugi, good to see you. Welcome in. Hello. Uh, my goodness me. I hope all is well for you today. It's lovely to see you again. Nice. So I got the perfect timing of jump there because uh, it gave me enough time to actually jump onto the platform on the rotation. If you just miss it, then it's a bad time because uh, then you have to wait for a full rotation again. Put the box on here. Jump onto the box so that you can get a bit more jump up. And there you go. Um, so that's the first time I've actually ever done that because all the other times I had to wait for the platform to go all the way around. So that was actually really, really lovely. I'm doing good today, Yugi. Uh, fixed my sleep schedule, which is good. So no complaints. And debuting a new speedrun. By the way, this is where routing has come into good fruition here. So let me tell you what I'm doing. We're going to be putting this box just where this blue platform is. We're going to place it down. And then we're going to use this box over here to put onto the blue uh, button. We're going to go jump up around. And we're going to go up to the top right to bring the platform up towards us. And then we're going to stop it just when it reaches the top. And there we go. We're going to box, uh, box jump again. So we're going to start doing this uh, platforming a little bit more. We're now going to move this box onto the green platform. Place it here. That's important. 
Because we're going to be uh, grabbing it on the edge again. So, and now. Grab it from here. And put it down. So, again, like, as you grab it from the edge just then, as the platform goes up, it doesn't quite catch the box placement, which is really handy. Now, we're going to wait for the platform to go into the middle. Reason for that is, is that we want to break the box on the way down for a very specific purpose. Because we're going to be uh, having the box, like, reappear here. And before we do that, we're going to quickly go back up. Raise the platforms to the top. It can be done faster, but this is uh, the way I'm doing it for now. Uh, again, optimization is down the line. So now all we have to do is just literally bring the box over to the right. That's one. Was the place on the button? There we go. Jump back down to the mid, uh, to the bottom. Grab this box. Put it onto the other one, and. We're on our way. I am winning, son. Capsaicin, this is the debut speedrun, my dude. Definitely some time that we can save already. So we got um, uh, we got a world record to achieve and then a PB afterwards. So it's going to be good times. Capsaicin, how are you doing? And also, Yugi, how are you doing, though? Obviously, you've asked how I am. How are you doing today? So now we've got another bit of dialogue. So Nash is going to try to read our rights. And then we're just going to uh, we're gonna throw a rock at him. That's pretty much it. We're just going to throw a rock. Yo, throw fix that panel for Twitch finally. They just put a tweet out. You tested it and it works. Perfect. Uh, Moose, could you DM that tweet to me so that I can fix after the run? So... Splash. Close. There's a splash. <laughs> There's a splash. Believe it's like, you're close. You're close. <laughs> um, I'm doing good. Sleep cycle is fixed and I'm back in good health-ish. Um, but I'm doing okay. Moose, how are you doing now? How are you doing? Thinking about comfy tea or coughing soon? Decisions, decisions. Uh, green tea, please. Green tea. All right, fun little trick here. One, two, three. It's actually faster than just falling all the way down. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. Joe's barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. As soon as the music picked back up, that meme triggers. That's actually kind of funny, actually. <laughs> um. So I was testing it with uh, Aaron the other day because he said literally just fall down. And I was like, no, nah, no, no. If you jump on the ladder, it's actually a little bit faster there. And in the example that I showed to Aaron, my strat was faster by 1.2 seconds. Literally a second of time save for just that ladder alone. So I don't know. I'm, I'm all down for time saves, right? Hi, Matt Scratch. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome in to the stream. Also lovely to have you. Lovely to see you as well. Uh, you're doing? Gotcha, gotcha. To apply for jobs now and even getting overstressed in little things. One day at a time, man. One day at a time. Things will come together. It's going to be a bit of stress in the lieu of things, but I know that you'll get there, man. Like, you, you'll you get there easy. Just uh, breathe easy and, again, one step at a time. Now, we can stop here because this is an auto-scripted bit of dialogue. Oh, yeah, that, that's exactly what I was talking about, Boglio. Exactly that. And split will be happening. Now. Yep, there we go. So, we're already in Chapter 4 in about 43 minutes. Chapter 4 in 43 minutes. So, there we go, everyone. This is getting a toasty speedrun, Darren King. Welcome in as well to the stream. Hopefully, all is good and well. Let's go. One second. Let's give me through this dialogue. Now, chapter four is like where I start to love the platforming a bit more. You'll see very soon, actually. You played Kiss the other day on stream. Thanks for the recommendation there. Called the other end of me streaming it. How did you enjoy Kiss, by the way? So, that was a little bit fucked up, wasn't it? <laughs> it's just one of those games. I see you. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome in. Uh, I've raised up your sound effect, by the way, so now you can properly hear it. Really good seeing you speedrun this, though. Honestly, Moose, I've been, like, just... Oh, that's aggravating. That is aggravating. That's a time loss. Um, so what happened there was that I wasn't fully up on the platform. And I was kind of, like, just, like, my feet were just touching the floor. Oh, God, where am I going? Okay. And if that happens, then you'll fall, then it won't realize that you've got up on top. So I need to do it here. There we go. 
Hide for new speedrun. Rochi, good to see, buddy. By the way, how did your summer fun go? Was it like... It was, was it like about 16 hours or something like that? I know that you had a good uh, good stream, so I hope you're having a, you're all doing awesome today. You rested. Welcome in, Rochi. It's always a pleasure to have you and see you. No worse than no one in your house yet. Hopefully soon, my friend. I know that does take a little bit of time to get the confirmation and stuff, but I hope so. 19 hours. That's the one. Yes. My goodness me. Hopefully you had a good rest, though. Hopefully you rested well. Um, uh, my, I might not be able to... There's some chat that I missed, but... Uh, Moose, again. I, I didn't see the second part of your message, but again... DMs are open if you want to have a little chit chat, just a chin bag anyway, yeah? DMs are always going to be open, my friend. Cap Stacey, you're trying to fix your sleep schedule too now. You're still waking up super early, then crashing super early? That's not the worst thing. <laughs> That's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, for me, I was going to bed at 1 p.m. Cap Stacey, I was going to bed at 1 p.m. and waking up at 8 p.m. So, your sleep schedule is not the worst thing in the world. <laughs> But I, I see what you mean, though. And Rochi is 4 a.m., so you ruined your sleeping pattern. There we go. Yep. 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 <laughs> That's what subathons can do to you. Uh, by the way, same again. We're going to be uh, changing universes after we put the key in so that we can un like uh, unload the door. Ugly Listen, sailor. Listen, you son of a bitch. What the fuck's your problem? You get in my face, that I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. You piece of shit. You fucking goddamn motherfucker! Listen, fuckhead! You have fucking crossed the line! Get that through your goddamn fucking head! Stop shooting your mouth off! Stop pushing your shit! You got that? Thank you, Ugly Sailor. Thank you. Oh, by the way, here's a cool little skip. Look at this. Wee. So normally there would be a kill plane about here. But no worries. But no worries. Because we could just do that. Uh. Let's move this here. Nope. I messed this bit up already. So, also, I see. Hopefully, you have a good shower as well. Um, you may have a new home in a few months. Let's go, I see you. Let's go. Hopefully, we'll actually hear back soon about it as well. So, here's hoping, buddy. Okay, so. We just need to move these boxes left and right. And then we can go up and around uh, by going to this universe. Well, you said you were going for a shower. So, I'm wishing you a nice shower. I, I, I thought that was a nice thing to do. <laughs> okay. There we go. And we now get the key. There we go. That's your second favorite bit alert. Let's go, Rochi. Uh, Funky Punk, welcome into the stream as well. Lovely to see you as well. Um, change the universe, key. And through we go. So, we could definitely save time there as well. So, again, in the next run, we'll be saving more time. Ugly Sailor. Thank you for the 245 bits, buddy. Much appreciated. So, again, as mentioned, like, uh, for that specific area there, if you were to fall down at that point, there is no kill plane. So you don't have to worry about, like, doing the universe swapping to get from one bit to the other. So it does save a great deal of time. Now, this is fun. So they they have had a Twitch extension panel already, Shep, but I think they had some issues with... Uh, uh, people able to put their usernames and stuff like that for a while. So I think they finally fixed it from what I'm aware anyway. Also, some more fun routing. Here we go. So we're going to go up on this little, uh, the little greenery here and jump here and go right. Then we're going to jump through again and then just go down and there we go. Boom. Boom. Be back later. Love you more than Taco Bell. Right back at you. I see you. Hopefully catch you in a little bit. And hopefully we can get some Taco Bell again soon. Hopefully. Hopefully. Um, so that is like some fast routing. We get to skip a whole room of uh, of doing things. So wait, you just came back. Hi, Vice. We're chapter four, about 49 minutes in. <laughs> Hi, Vice. <laughs> So, next bit. Swap, universe swap here. And there we go. Are you in chapter 4 in just 48 minutes? Quite easily. And through we go. And jump. Again, guys, I've been playing this a lot. <laughs> I'm just, I like, I've been just like, you know, trying to see like how I can optimize things. And I've just been going in on this. I've been going in on this. That's the chapter 1 plus prolonged length. 
for casual people playing it and voice acting and, you know, doing all the things, that makes sense, yes. However, I'm skipping all of that, so it goes fast. I'm doing good, Funky Punk. I'm doing good. Hopefully, you're keeping all good today as well. Right. Next rat, go around to the right. Universe swap, up we go. Universe swap. Through this one, up we go. Through. And jump, and you get a key. Boom. Jump up to here. Jump here. Left. And there we go. <sighs> So we can't universe swap here because we're inside the box. But again, when you're outside of, when you're not in a bit that locks you universe, then you can easily swap universes there. Saves time for the door. This is incredible. Thank you, bye so much. Thank you, John. Hey, buddy, welcome in. Commander County. Yes, hopefully, hopefully, I'm gonna try my best in submitting, County. And I'll see if I can either get maybe Vice or Aaron onto the commentation and stuff. Also, Yugi, sorry, I completely missed over your comment earlier on. Um, do you mind reposting your message about how you are and stuff like that? Because I feel bad that I ignored it. I feel bad I ignored it. You go to uni now, so watch the VODs. No worries, Vice. Good luck at uni and catch you a little bit later on also. You're doing decently, not able to keep up with things that are happening around you. Hopefully no one here in chat uh, and you will experience huge procrastination. I... Procrastination is such a mood, though. It's such a, such a mood, but, um... Started to experiment with a few things when it comes to drawing. That's exciting. I'd love to see the results of the drawing and stuff. I'd love to see Yugi. If you ever want to DM me with some of your drawings, I'd love to see them. I'd love to. But I'm glad that you're doing decently, though. I'm glad that you're doing decently, buddy. So, here's another thing. It's actually faster to go to the right here instead of going to the left. So, let's go. And we'll be finishing Chapter 5 in about maybe five minutes. Way about here, press S right there. So you can be at the optimal point so that uh, you don't uh, have to go from Everett to that position. And there we go. All right. Uh, no, 100 oxidized horses. Do exclamation mark hello. Do exclamation mark hello. That's where the sound effects lay now, is in the exclamation mark hello. And 100 oxidized horses is... Uh... I could turn that up a tiny bit. That could go up just like one more volume, but still pretty good volume. Hi, 100 Ox... 100 Ox... Hi, 100 Ox Size Horses. Welcome in to the stream. It's lovely to see you. Hopefully, work is going well. You're keeping well. Looks like I didn't carry over that sound effect. I've been changing on my bots a lot, uh, 100 Ox Size Horses, so... I did miss a few commands, so I will get that one back as soon as I can. Um... I've been stressing my ass out with the, the bot transitions and stuff like that. So I'll get that fixed. I'll get that fixed for you, my friend. I'll get that fixed. But, uh, dude, I'll be well. And you keep him good. It's a pleasure. Uh, no, it's because it's just exclamation mark hello now, I'm, uh, Funky Punk. Unsubbing my poor baby heart. 100 dog size horses. <laughs> Sindre, thank you for timing yourself out. Welcome in to the stream also. Hello to you. Funky Funky, do you want to do it? I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Nice. You're all good. Got a week off and you're spending it relaxing. Let's go. 100 oxide sources. You, I know you've been working your ass off and stuff like that. So I'm glad that you got a good moment to chill now, which is thoroughly important. So enjoy your week, yeah? Enjoy your week, buddy. Moose, you didn't know what lucky there? By the way, I love this coming section here. I love this forthcoming section. This is kind of like semi-boss environment. Semi-boss environment. So this is all about going fast. Now, you can do it. If you're very good at rooting here, probably TAS only, but you could actually do it so that the camera won't even be on screen. Like, you know, you won't be on the screen, and you can just go fast enough to actually uh, get to the end. But uh, not the best humanly possible, so we won't. Oh. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, by the way, uh, 100 Oxide Sources, this is a new debut speedrun. First time it's ever been done on Twitch, and I'm de I'm debuting it. All right, here we go. I'm loving this tune as well. It's so good. Go down. Oh, slow. Oh, Jesus. Okay, that was bad. That's fine, though. If we still managed to save it a tiny bit, but that was a, not the best of uh, routing there. Down we go. Up we go. Through we go. And up. 
jump down and go not onto this one but to the next one and then jump onto the leaves to the right to the right to the right through these lots of platforms and universes and interferences and done nice no this is the very first time funky punk this is the absolute debut absolute debut i know right <laughs> Hey, Bomb, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome into the stream. Lovely to have you. Love to see you. Thank you so much for being here, checking out those speedrun. The debut speedrun. All right. Split is coming up. Into chapter five at 55 minutes. Let's go. So, Funky Punk, I'm also working on an auto splitter, which will mean that like, it'll, it'll automatically split the time. It'll start the timer. And it'll actually pause in-game time as well for... Um, uh, for specific menu bits, uh, just for the sake of runner health and stuff like that as well. But because we're outside of the actual game, there is probably going to be no in-game time. So that's something I'm going to be working on soon. But uh, the auto splitter that I made is not completely 100%. So I got to fix it. So I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Well, that's a good way to meet you, a bomb. That's, that's, that's an amazing way to meet you. Nice. Nice. <laughs> what? That's how we. That's like, hi, hi. What's your name? I put a whole bag of jelly beans on my ass. Okie dokie. <laughs> love it, love it. So, there's an intro text, a prologue, and then nine chapters. Cookie. So for splits, we've got eleven splits, but chapter wise. There's nine chapters and a prologue, basically. Is the best way we could summarize it. Okay, I need to stop pressing enter here. And I need to turn up my AC. Now, chapter five is gonna have some cool routing. Um, so you know that we kept that key from uh, chapter two, like all this time through. This chapter is where we're gonna be using that key, LMP. Hi, I'm Jack Cameron. 11 bumps. Oh my god. Need a new refrigerator? Oh my goodness me. LMP Gaming. Gaming? Games? With the tier 1 for 11 months. My friend, thank you so much for 11 months. I hope you're well and you're keeping chill. Welcome into the stream. Welcome into the debut speedrun. To the debut speedrun of what lies in the multiverse. Uh, as soon as this run is done, I'm actually going to go to speedrun.com after highlighting this VOD and try to open up a board for this game but obviously it needs a run first to be able to do it so that's what we're doing right now is getting a rundown and showcasing all the things so it's gonna be good times heckin innovative yeah i like to say it's taken a lot of time and a lot of coding a good amount of sort of like chapter playthroughs to try to get like values and stuff for that uh, we're gonna see if there's some more consistent values and stuff because the values that i've found is it's not the most consistent, so I'm gonna try and find something to do, if you know what I mean. Hopefully we'll be able to get it, hopefully. So we'll find out. By onion ring, oh you mean elder ring, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Derecker, well, at least you're having good times. Okay, so we're introduced into a new universe, which is basically just like a toxic a toxic air, basically. So we have to be very efficient with our use of, like our time in this universe. So this is where, like, you know, we're going to be trying to optimize our movement here as well. So, for example, we're going to jump up, then change universe, jump up again, then change universe, jump up, change universe, breathe, jump, uh, change universe, here. So, again, it's all about optimizing how long you're in each universe for or using it for a specific amount of time. So, even right now, that's bad. So, we're going to change it again. Yeah. I oh, know that was a bad. That was bad. So, yeah, you're right. You're right, Len. And here we go again. Now we can actually fall down and grab at just that point to save a little bit of time. Careful on that jump because you might not be able to grab it in time. You just fall directly into the river. Breathe. Jump up. Jump. 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 Breathe. And up we go. Uh, Numpty, thank you for the luck as well, buddy. Hopefully you're having a chill day today as well. Thank you so much for being here as always. Always a pleasure. And right, so this is the area of where we'll skip a lot of dialogue. Jetpack Dragon, welcome into the stream also. Lovely to have you as well, my friend. So 
right here, you can see that there is a key. We don't need to get that key at all because of that key that we stacked up from mission from chapter two. So we're going to be saving about maybe 45 seconds of time. Maybe about 45 seconds of time because like we don't need to go down. We don't need to go around. We don't need to engage in the conversations. We don't need to go then get the key. All we got to do is that you splash. splash. All we got to do is splash. Change universe. And here we go. There's a door. Duff lad, good to see you. I'm doing much better today. I got some good sleep. My sleep cycle is fixed. So no complaints. How are you keeping, buddy? And also Joe Sheep, welcome into the stream. Now, you can actually initially jump before you go into that little uh, that little bit there because jumping inside this bit is slow. So you need to be careful about that. All right. This little bit of rooting here is actually one of my favorites as well. So what we're going to be doing is jumping up and going through to this uh, middle bit. Then we're going to jump up to the left, jump up to the right, breathe in a moment by going to here, falling off, and then going there. Resetting, breathing, jumping up to this vine, jumping off it, jumping around, breathing, pushing block, then pushing this uh, box again, jumping across, breathing, and I just failed the jump. I just failed the jump. But thankfully, we spawned back into the middle, so we need to breathe again. And then going through. Breathe. Trying to grab that vine in just good timing. And then we can jump across the boxes in good time. There we go. Perfect. Tran the Dragoon, welcome into the stream. How's it going to speedrun? Speedrun's going good. Speedrun is going very, very good right now. So it's it's a it's a debut. Tran, it is the debut speedrun. So this will be immediate world records. But we've already got time to save it for a PB. So we're gonna be doing two runs today. Maybe three. I know, singular done. I can't believe there's more than one run. What? <laughs> but um just to a point of actually like getting this onto the boards, we're gonna be making the speedrun boards like pretty soon after this as well. So it's like, as I say, it's exciting times. Right, universe swap before you go into here. Get into the vine, up you go. Jump through to the right, grab this vine. Back up and around. Oh shit. So I was supposed to land on that platform, which I didn't do. So again, this is a time save. Let's try that again. Jump up and around. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Thank you, Joe Sheep, for laughing at me. <laughs> nice meme. All right, getting up and through. Now, here's a little cool strat. So, look at this. Okay, so not that, but close. So, this one can be tough. So, you got to go like this. And try to go right. No, no, no. Okay, come on. Come on. This bit can be a bit of a pain sometimes, so you want to... Come on. Really? Really? Come on. I was able to do this really well in practice, so... All right, screw it for now. Um... There is a way to just like get yourself up on the um, up on the vine quickly onto the middle, but apparently we weren't able to do that, so we'll just leave it for now. We'll leave it for now. Um, it's quite annoying, but it is what it is for the meantime. So hopefully we can save time there. There is a strat to be able to just like <laughs> go from the top left into the middle right, but it's not always the most consistent. So if you're able to pull it off, then you can pull it off, but if not, then it's just a pain. Aaron, you took a huge nap. Welcome back. As you can see, we're in chapter five, one hour and four minutes in. I wasn't able to do the H skip, but uh, we're going to be doing another run after this, so we can save time there easy. That was about maybe about Splash. 30 seconds of time save, so it's not too bad. And how is the nap? And how are you feeling, buddy? You found it's handy to combo things by using your phone to redeem at the exact same time you did on your PC, Joe. That's cheeky. That's cheeky. But valid. It works. All right. This bit's interesting. 
in a sense, because what we got to do is manage our health, uh, like our breath, by jumping up over the line at just the right time. So like there, and then we can jump again. Just make sure you don't jump up on the box, otherwise that loses a bit of time to be able to push. And jump up again. Jump up. Oh, oh, that was lucky timing. I should not have done that. Woo, that was uh, close. That was close, right. This is one of my other favorite bits as well that I figured out. So we're just gonna jump down all the way, push the block over to the left. Go through it, breathe, jump up onto the vine. Jump down, breathe, up we go again, onto the block, change universe, change universe again, change universe, jump up, then jump to the block, down through here, you're going to be onto the vine, get the key, jump back up and around, you're going to be in the green, so you're going to jump to the left side, then jump up, and then go to, go to the right, and there we go, done, boom. I love that section. I love that section. It's all about like, you know, the faster strats and stuff like that. But I, I know there's still going to be some faster strats, but I think for now, I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, Funky Punk, it looks awesome, buddy. It looks awesome. I like E. I like E. So you can see what I mean. I've been like playing the game a good amount. I could start to sort of like find faster routing. There's going to be faster routing, but for the meantime, when you perform it, it feels nice, if you know what I mean. Platforming games are always great when you can opt up, like you can perform the like the, the fastest route efficiently. Which is kind of like another challenge for me, because I'm not I don't mean like I don't really speed speedrun too many platforming games. So for the sense of a speedrun platform game, this is fun. This is really, really fun. By the way, I need to hydrate in the next chapter. So remind me when we get into chapter six to hydrate, please, okay? I love that section. With the, just the music just going do do do, so good. All right, <laughs> Len, please, nice. Can I get a can I get a 07 in a chat for that section? Okay, that's there we go, done. Done. <laughs> you gotta be quick with the 07s for that little bit. Just like as soon as that little that little bit there happens, I want you guys to 07 in the chat, okay? So for the next run. That's what I'm going to ask of you guys for 07 at the appropriate time. So, bye-bye. <laughs> um, I think this is coming up to the chapter end. Yes. Actually, no. Still a little bit more to go. Still a little bit more to go. So, I don't want to spoil it for people, for those who don't know. But we are coming up to sort of like some major spoilers soon. So... Again, if you've not played this game, please go ahead and get this game on Steam. It is an amazing, amazing game. I thoroughly recommend it. Uh, I've, I had an amazing experience stream, uh, streaming this game. So, uh, please make sure that if you have not played it, go ahead and play it. But, I'm going to give you guys uh, 10 seconds before I say a spoiler. Because it's going to be like thoroughly spoiled for you anyway very, very soon. Um, 10, 9, 8, 7... Six. Ah! Nice timing. <laughs> Rosheed, thank you for the 22 bits. All right. So, spoiler incoming. So, this is where Nash gets bullied to such an extent where he physically enrages and then will proceed to, uh, to rip. So, we are going to be skipping over a lot of that bit. Um, so for, like it will be explained during the commentary of the speedrun as well. So this is the, that's, that's what happens, and um, that's when we go to chapter six. We're going to be basically locked, jailed and locked away because of our 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 tribulations. If you know what I mean? Um, it was an orgasmic experience. My goodness me, tough lads. I mean, I'm not going to tell you about my sexual uh, 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 excitement and stuff, but I, I don't know. Tapping S and enter is uh, is very orgasmic. I can't believe it. And that's your number one bit. Let's go, Roach. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's my favorite as well. It is my favorite. Okay, so now we're just going to jump up here. Go all the way around. And 
From here, you don't need to jump down all the different steps. You can just literally fall off to the right because there's not going to be fast enough to kill you because it's like... With the falling animation, if you fall at a specific speed, that's what triggers the the death, uh, like the kill plane, basically. So falling from that point won't trigger the kill plane, so it's faster, so it feels good. Now, be careful here. Land here and then fall down, because if you don't fall into that and you go all the way down, that's what triggers the kill plane. I've died a few times there, so you got to be careful where you're falling, basically. I know that it's good to go fast, but you don't want to go too fast that you skip something that will uh, be your savior against the kill plane. So here, for example, is a good uh, good height. Okay. Right. Now we're coming up to the end of chapter five, everybody. And into chapter six, which is where I have my guide. Because I'm going to be making sure that I get it into, like, uh, into my memory of, like, how to do this without a guide. But for the meantime... I do have a guide up. And don't forget, uh, back at that, it is uh, in the channel points for exclamation mark hydrates. In the channel points now. And uh, very soon I'll be hydrating. That t-shirt is my favorite. I love it. Thank you, Duff lads. Thank you very much for noticing. Notice me, senpai. <laughs> All right. Nearly done. Nearly done with chapter five. I think here you don't need to tap S and enter because I think it's... Uh, Scripted dialogue, but I'll double check that very soon. Andre the Viking, welcome into the stream also. Hello. All right. Chapter six. Okay. Hydrate, everybody. Time to hydrate. Mm. Better. Nice. Doing good. Andre, doing good today. How are you doing, man? Hopefully your day's well and you're keeping chill as well. It's a pleasure as always. So, this little bit here is, uh, you know, it's a little cutscene. So we can relax here for lemon. just a moment. Then here's a lemon. <sighs> so here's kind of what I mentioned by the spoiler. Basically, um, we found out that uh, in the moment when Nash was like pounding on the uh, on the bridge because of... Um, the, the the sufficient bullying from Everett, uh, he fell down, I guess, too hard into the water, and uh, unfortunately, that was uh, the end of uh, the, the end of Nash. So, can we get some Bible thumbs in the chat for for Nash, please? So, we're being jailed away because of our uh, because of what we've done, we, um, because you know we are the cause of somebody uh, and their life uh, sadly being removed. It is really sad, actually, Rose. It is a very, very sad story. I, I nearly cried on stream after this bit because it's, uh, it can hit hard. It can hit hard. Obviously, we're going fast. So the sadness shall soon be uh, removed. But uh, definitely, like, as I mentioned, play this for yourself because it's not just about the emotions here, but the, the, the comedic value behind the writing as well in different areas is really, really good. So... Again, I would recommend Zyklena just for the writing alone and the music and the music as well. Something that got overlooked recently in a in a review, but the music is so, so good. Yeah, speed running into Sag. I know, Ugly Sailor, I know. This this one was rough. It was, I know. Really well written. It was, Tran. It was. I completely and wholeheartedly agree with you. But we are coming up to the tough bits of Chapter 6. And I know there could be some more optimization very soon, but I still feel very confident with my routing right now. So, since you play Gris, you started to notice soundtracks a lot more. And um, that's a very valid experience, actually, Roach. I've still yet to play Gris, but I've heard, like, you know, story and music in that game is phenomenal. And Andre, you just got another tattoo. I am I really want to get a tattoo. I'm kind of jealous of you, man. I'm jelly that you're getting all these tattoos. I really, I really want tattoos. I really want to get some more, but I'm going to save up a good bit of money first before I actually can invest in tattoos. I've got a few things to pay off. Like, it's a, it's a shame because I can't go to any events next month. I was planning to go to, like, Format and to Insomnia, but I really need to save up money and to, like, pay off bills and stuff like that. So, I have unfortunately can't afford to go to those events. So, um, once I've paid off my bills, once I've got more savings, then it's tattoo time. Then it's tattoo time. Uh, you'd love to watch you play that. That would also be a good speed run. Maybe soon, a roach. 
Maybe soon I'll, uh, I'll look into those two as well. Maybe. I'll be, I'll be down. I'll be very, very down. Uh, right. So after we talk to Everett is when we're going to start basically doing the, uh, the routing that I've put down for this area. Also, I'm going to enlarge the text a little bit here so that I can see a little bit easier. All right. There we go. You like the the, uh, the theory initially that you're thinking that Everett was an older version of the kids? Again, we still don't know. Routing, routing, I, 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 I don't know. I, I still don't know the difference between that word, ugly sailor. <laughs> uh, how, what was the graphical limitation of technology has become an art style? Pixel games, I still need to play McPixel 3, by the way. That's the game I've been keeping my eye on. McPixel 3 looks so, so awesome. So I need to... Maybe we can play that later on, actually. After we do another run, I might just play McPixel 3. Let's do that, yeah. Yeah, if we find a session in Leg Tattoo in May, and be so close to booking in for a small one in between. Ooh. Maybe you'll get it. Maybe you won't. But either way, there's some plans for us. All right. Here we go. So the first thing we need to do is get the gray key card. Now, again, the annoying, I say the annoying bit about this, uh, about chapter six is the platforms. Because most of the time, we have to wait for it to go up and down. Allow we can't go up like that, if you know what I mean. Myself. Ray the Grey, good to see you in the chat, buddy. Welcome in to the stream. So as you see there, we have to wait for the platforms to go up and down first before we can literally do anything. So it is a little bit of a, like a time... A timely issue of this area, but whoa, that was weird. Anyway, um, however, you can jump from there quite sufficiently, so that's good. Now, for what we do here, now that we've got the gray key card, is we're not going to go into the elevator straight away. We're actually going to go to this door and open it up first. Then go to the elevator door and go to floor two. We're then going to go to the right and activate the platform halfway. Like that. We're going to jump up. Go through. Halfway again. Maybe bring it back up because that was not enough. There we go. We're going to use this box to be able to actually jump up onto the platform. To then get to this little corner to then bring ourselves back up to then get this key card over here. We're now going to fall down. And we're going to go take the elevator door back down to floor one. And we're going to go uh, through the right hand side. To this, uh, to what we're going to call ND, which is normal door. ED is elevator door. And we're going to go and move over to the left a little bit. So that we can take this box and place it on the button. So, as always, we've got to wait for the platform to go up and down. So, I can't fit, I don't think there's any other way that we could. I still haven't fixed that command yet. I spent uh, a good amount of time doing this, the sound effects up but that command will be fixed soon as well funky punk so soon tm i still have to fix so many things so one small thing at a time um now that we've taken that platform we're going to take open turn on this button a uh, lever here so we're now going to go get the box and bring it up with us to put onto this yellow button hi chrysal trouble relaxing there we go how about a cup of chamomile tea? I would love it, Chrysler. So thank you very much for being here. And I would love some tea. Thank you very much. Now, again, platform goes up and down. Platform go burr. So we have to wait for it to go up and down once again. And then we're going to be taking the floor six door, then the ND, to, which will take us back down to floor three. We're going to go over to the right, activate this lever here to turn it on. So that we'll come back to it later on. We're then going to go over to the left and pull the left lever here. Take the platform up. Now, this bit took me a bit to figure out. So, this is what you can do. Is you're going to take this box. You're going to jump with it. Jump with it again, just at the very edge there. Then use this box to get up into the ladder. Then push this box down into the button area. We're then going to be taking the elevator up to get the next key card shortly, which is the blue key card. And then we're going to be using the red key cards, or like the, the, the orange yellow uh, key card that we got, to open up the door to our left. And then we're going to be taking the middle area in order to be able to go through the, to turn of the lever and also this door. Here we go. Now we're on floor four. We're going to go to the right and pick up the box. Now this is where routing can be a little bit fun. So what we're going to do is box jump a few times so that we can get fast. Drop the box down quickly. Turn on this platform. 
Then we're going to continue to take the box over to the bottom of this uh, this ladder in the right placement. We're then going to go up and turn on the lever, then come back down. Now let's open up the top area. So we're going to go to the platform and go all the way to the top. We're not going to take the box with us just yet, but soon TM. So up we jump, turn on the, the, the lever and go all the way back down again. So we're going to be using the same box to jump up the, the uh, ladder to turn off that uh, lever that we turned on. Jump back down and jump from here. Grab the box, box jump. And we're going to be taking this box up with us to put on that green button. So, do, 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 do. Careful when you jump there. If you're going too high, then it will, uh, then you may uh, break the box. So you need to be careful about the, the jumping, basically. Okay, here we go. Yes. Hello, beep boop bop. Oh. These are good clear game instructions. I shall take notes. Nodders. Ah, then take the elevator to floor two. Rainbow, thank you so much for 19 months of support. Thank you very, very much. I went the wrong way. You went to go to the left. I hope that you're keeping well. You're looking after yourself. Pleasure to see you. And thanks so much for supporting the stream and the community with the act of the, sub of the subscription for 19 whole months. Thank you very, very, very much. All right, floor two, which will take us to floor three. We're going to turn on this lever. Then take the right ND, the right ND, normal door. And we're then going to go to the left quickly. Actually, we could probably change that so that we turn on that lever later. But either way, I digress. We're not going to pick up that box just yet. We're going to go over to the right hand side and then turn on this lever. Open the door and then take this box over to the left hand side. And what we're going to be doing after we wait for this platform to go up so that we don't jump up on top of it is put it just here. We're going to take this box and then step, step. I don't know why I turned on that. Uh, okay, here we go. Place the box here. As it's going up. Activate this button and then deactivate it. That uh, that closed platform door will activate the. Uh, uh, will keep the box going. So we're gonna wait for a second, and then jump across to put the button here. Yo, Matt Gunner, welcome into the stream. By the way, I'll be hitting you up in the DMs tonight. I uh, finally got my sleep back in order, so I'll be properly getting back to your DM very very soon as well, my friend. But I hope you're keeping well. Hopefully your day's been going well. Welcome in. Um, so once we've done this. We need to go... Pull the lever, cronk, warn, leave for you. Uh, hold on. We need to go to floor four. All right. Oh. Uh, floor four. Uh, then head right. Yes. Okay. There we go. Your dog just made a stink. Well, maybe you should open up a window then, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, before we grab the box, we're going to get that uh, door open. And then take the box with us. But before we do anything, is don't place on the platform yet. Because we're going to need to go up and around first before we do anything. So, is there a platypus umpire? Sure. Why not, Why not, Nightly Quinn? Why not? <laughs> also crunchy. A nice reference, by the way. Um, so the reason that we don't take put a box on the platform yet is because we're going to be opening up the lever just there. So we can then take that box up with us. So now we can go down. Then go grab the box as we're, as we're coming down. Okay, and we just missed the platform. Damn it! <laughs> that's, again, that's the thing that can happen is that you could just miss the timing, if you know what I mean. Scars Desmond, welcome in. Hello. Oh, careful. <laughs> Scott, thank you so much for the... Tell yourself a randomizer. Welcome into the stream. Now, careful as you go through here. The reason that the box is there to the right is in case you break this box. That there is a, another box that you can use. So be careful as you're doing this. Now, I managed to get a very close jump here a while ago. But I'm going to take it easy. There we go. So now we've opened up that bit. That, that door for the key card. We're going to be taking the platform back up. And then pulling the lever again. So that we can then open up the middle platform door to then be able to get out quite efficiently. So, 
Once we've got a key card. Once we've got a key card, we're going to go back to the elevator door. And we're going to be going up to floor six. Because we've got all the necessary key cards that we need. So six key cards. As you can see by the dots on these key cards. The one with the six dots is the final card that we need. So once we do that, floor six, open up the door. And then everybody do the dinosaur, basically. Okay. Right. Waifu, you just came to say hi, but you know you can't stay. No stress, Waifu. Uh, uh, when are you streaming this game, by the way? I think it's soon, isn't it? I think it's very, very soon. I think it's very, very soon. But Waifu, I hope that you, uh, hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you so much for poking in and saying hey. And uh, I hope you get to enjoy this game as well. You've just been busy with the other job. You have a link for you and all the links and stuff. Perfect. Thank you so much, Mac. Thank you so much. I look forward to it very, very much. I look for very much forward. All right. Um, okay, so that is basically the routing of floor six done, by the way, everybody. That is pretty much the, the routing done. That chapter six took me a lot to do initially. But once you've got the routing done, boom. You can do that section in about like 10 minutes, which is kind of crazy, actually. Oh, by the way, Rochi, you might like this. Good. So good. I love that art style. I love that art style. <sighs> routing. Okay. Routing. 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 God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. Oh, by the way, extended zapping. What the hell is even that? Daddy, chill. Yeah, just, ah, it's relatable. <laughs> You're so right, though. You're so, so right. I mean, oh, that's a mood and a half. Um, Okay, so. For, for a forthcoming patch, this area will have music. Um, That's something that they are uh, going to be uh, fixing up very soon. Um, So for the people watching the VOD back and stuff like that, just so that people know why there's no music here, this is a V, like, the first version of the game that was released on Steam, I think. Don't hold me to that, but still. Um, what else was I going to say? So, it, there's a fun little bit coming up very soon, actually, for those who are intrigued. That there is another sort of like a speedrun strat coming up very soon, which will, I'm not going to spoil it for you. I'm not going to spoil it for you. It's just going to be funny to show. Um, all right. So, we're going to be meeting Everett again shortly. Oh, here it is. Jump. There we go. And we're all the way at the bottom. That's a huge time save by just jumping right there. It's nice. It's very, very nice. So it uh, saves time. No complaints. We're going to give the voice. Uh, buddy, this, this, now you're spoiler free. Nice waifu. Nice. Nice. Moogle, welcome back, buddy. Welcome back. And boom. Do, 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 do. Nice. Nice. So, chapter seven is going to be fun because uh, that's when a gravity shift starts to happen. And gravity shifting is fun. You'll see why. So, Everett sees Leo. He's like, bye bye. <laughs> I like that. It's just kind of like, I'm going this way now. I'm going this way now. Um, oh, okay. So, keep getting to not, not press enter there. And. We'll be coming up to chapter end shortly. That means we'll be getting into chapter seven by about one hour 30. To find as much Among Us as possible. Not yet, Daddy Otacon, but I think I think there should be some people. I can see one already. I just saw one already. I thought did was it in the in the in the display, yeah? Was it in the display? Because I just saw that one. Yo, no fails. Welcome into the stream. Hopefully all is well and chill. Uh, it's in the uh channel points now, by the way. And no fails. It's uh, channel points for it now. All right, here we go. And chapter split. Boom. Good timing on the follow. My God. <laughs> Great timing on the follow. Wow. <laughs> uh, Relly Hugh, thanks so much for the follow as well. Hopefully you're doing well and you're keeping good today. Welcome into the debut speedrun of What Lies in the Multiverse. It's the first time it's been done. And... 
Yeah, this is like sub one hour, sub one thirty, getting to chapter seven. Sub one thirty, getting to chapter seven. That's huge, by the way. Have you seen the last couple of tweets at all? No, I have not. Is everything okay, buddy? Is everything okay? Um, yeah, so green snow dog, so that you know, because like, if you are wanting to run this uh, game, this is like kind of like where we're at right now for chapter seven is one hour thirty. How long do you think this run will be? Probably about 2.30, 2.45 maybe. I haven't actually done a full-fledged run yet, Jetpack Dragon, so. Imagine about my Eldering deaths. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You run anything? Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, Grease. At least you can add to your inventory speedruns now, which is important. Uh, you got to duck away. No stress, waifu. No stress. Catch it. Catch you soon. Take it easy. And I hope you get to play and enjoy the game very, very soon, my friend. I look forward to watching your reactions as well. Um, okay. And. All right. Shake the arms a little bit. Shake the arms a little bit. Because we have been tapping quite a lot for the S and the Enter. So, again, make sure that you uh, do your, like, your, ha oh, I love this. <laughs> a boat has a reversing noise. It's so good. <laughs> but no, uh, no, fellas, how's your day treat so far? How are you keeping? Is trying to shift gravity out of your rectum? That's just me on a j daily basis. I don't, uh, I, I do that every day. It's a good time. It's called the act of shitting. Everybody poops after all, right? Everybody poops. I love it. For a sake, you thought it was a lorry outside your window. Yeah. Did the boat just do what you think it did? Yep. Exactly, Yugi. Exactly. Uh, so, rainbow channel points. Channel points. SFX dash toot. SFX toot now. Uh, I, moved it from the, I moved it to channel points just because, like, the command was getting a little bit overused, if you know what I mean. I won't lie. It's a little bit overused. So... Thank you. There we go. So now you got to spend your channel points. Now you got to spend the channel points, which I think is absolutely fair. For at least my gentle mental sanity that I have a lacking of, if you know what I mean. So there we go. All right. Got to do me a thing. Sounds good. Right. Here we go. Here's where the fun begins, everyone. That's moist. Gravity shifting up all the way. Nice. That was a really good ledge grab, actually. That was a very good ledge grab. So, chapter seven is my favorite for like uh, the playability. You're not doing too bad. Day was heavily stressed with back to back meetings. Oh boy. Uh, but you're past the working day now and now you can chill, man. Now you can chill. Day's been all right. I've got my sleep back in order, so I can't complain. Um, and, uh,. Been working hard on this speed run because I've been making a auto splitter behind the scenes and it's been taking a good amount of time. Uh no auto splitter yet, but we're like about like say 95% there basically. So nearly there. So I've been good so far. Misfit also, welcome to the stream, buddy. Hello. Hopefully you're well and you're keeping chill also, man. It's good to have you in the stream. Oh, excuse me. Also, Demetric Demon, welcome into the stream as well. Uh, hi, Bub, excuse me. Danger. Very soon I'm in danger because the run's probably going to kick off. So we're going through that area. Suddenly we have candy floss. Oh, sorry. Cotton candy for you Americans. There we go. All right. See the tweets about the order split. I'm very intrigued by it. You know what's funny? Like the, the, uh, the producer and developer of this game have been very intrigued by the uh, auto split as well. Because uh, it's a wholly different aspect of like coding basically. And uh, how to find the values of the game is something that is, you wouldn't normally do in game development and stuff so it's been intriguing for me because i've never i've been wanting to make one for the longest time but for unity game engines when i was trying to do it for goosebumps at night it the memory values change every single time whilst in this game uh it's made it, uh the, the some of the memory values do become static but it is just trying to find the the the, the memory address that actually Spits out the values that we want, if you know what I mean. So, and Chrysal, the auto splitter has IGT pause as well. It's pretty cool, actually. It's pretty cool. Uh, cotton candy for us Americans. There we go. Because I figured it out the other day when I was in the uh, what lies in the, in the multiverse. 
Discord. I said Candy Floss, and the person who was watching me do it said, like, what the fuck's Candy Floss? Are you trying to say... Are you trying to say... Are you trying to say cotton candy? I was like, y yes. Oopsie. Paulister. Hey, buddy. Welcome into the stream. Good to have you. Good to see you. Hopefully you're well. Okay. Here's a fun little bit, by the way, guys. I here's, bet you'd like that, you Here's pervert. a fun little bit. Watch this. Boom. I adore that. I adore this platforming section. It's so fun. It is so fun because of uh, uh, keeping that momentum. Five from the Russian shot. <laughs> oh, boy. Clagging up. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you're tired, but you're doing okay besides that. Pulitzer, you relax for your day. Yeah, you relax. Like I say, it sounds like it's been a long day. So come down, chill down, relax, hang 10, and look after yourself. Yeah, most important thing. But you almost gave up. That's a mood, Chrysler. That is a mood. Uh, if you want some help, I do have some knowledge now, so I'll be happy to help out if you need some. And I messed up. Okay, so I went down a little bit too uh, too far, but that's fine. Could not use a menu trick in that part. I... You know what? I've never tested that, Crunchy. But I don't think it'll be quite relevant for it. Because essentially, like, when you are in the inverse in those little sections... There is no top area. As in, like, you know, it's just basically as uh, there's nothing. So you don't want to fly too far up there. You basically go out of bounds because then you can't save yourself. Oh, okay. Four hours of Unity programming. My God. Three hours away for the next class. Uh, playing being bad at Guilty Gear. And then two hours of more class. It's been a... But you know what, Crunchy? I'm not against that for... I'd have to do some uh, checking and stuff, but... I reckon that's going to be quite tough to do, so you never know. Gonna like with you in the background whilst you chill and play Mafia. Sounds good, Novels. Enjoy your gaming time. Thank you for having me in the question, uh, in the lurk as well. Much appreciated. Um, why did you alternate between dimensions as opposed to switching once? Uh, if you swap dimensions and you just leave it, you go again. As I mentioned with the um, uh, the falling bit. Same applies when you're in the other universe. So even as you're falling upwards, if you fall too fast, you'll go into the the the, the kill uh, the kill plane of uh, of speed, if that makes sense. So you want to be careful with like uh, how fast you're falling in any kind of direction, which is why I I change universes quite often to make sure that I kind of like kind of like parry between the uh, momentum uh, of my of my position basically essentially i i'm trying not to die <laughs> who'd have thought hey eh? who'd have thought now here's a fun thing swap the universe and then swap just there so that we can then just clear through this way easy peasy um now you made two toasties sounds delightful i'd love to have one could you make me one thank you baby um mm, i haven't had a good toasty in a while i might just make a toasty tonight Cheese and ham toasty. Let's go. Let's go. All right. So what we have to do around this way is we're going to essentially uh, do this this area first. And then we go all the way to the top. Now, this is fun. Watch this routing. Through the middle. Through the middle. Fall down. Then all the way to the top. There we go. Universe shift here. Through to the left. Actually, we're going to go... Yes, we're going to go through here first. And down. There we go. Turn this on. Made a chicken and uh, free cheese toasty. My God, that sounds tasty. I would love that. Thank you very much. Uh, depends what the shipping cost is to ship toasties to the UK. It sounds expensive. I don't know what... Uh, uh, that sounds expensive. I don't know. Um, uh, you want to toast it? You call it grilled cheese. True that. Again, candy floss. Uh, cotton candy. Oh boy, I almost, uh, I almost uh, died there. That was close. All right, now jump. Once you got uh, just a little place for the button, then you can uh, jump up from there, and you can make your way over. And this is the second area of that of that hub room done. So. Here we go. Post-cataclysmic environments. 
This is fun. This little bit here is like a little corny section of uh, of. Uh, well, I always say corny, but it's kind of like a it's a nice little it's a nice little ditty. So you have to talk to them once before you trigger the uh, the prompt to get uh, Sagan here. He's then gonna like have some like a uh, real chats with uh, with both of them as they're fighting. And sob sob sob, get through the sob story. Get it. And then we can activate that lever, and then we can make our way back through. And then we can have some <laughs> mechanic, please. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Don't you laugh at their 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 heart to heart uh, conversation? How dare? How dare? All right, there we go. All right, so. Basically, the second door for the the second hub area we're going to be going to is open. And then the third door for the first hub area is going to be done. That fucking seagull makes you smile. Hell yeah, man. That's why it's in the random memes, because it's meant to make... It's a, it's a good chuckle. It's a good chuckle. Okay, so go down here. Dave, good to see you, buddy. Welcome in. <laughs> there we go. Nice. All right. So the third area for the first hub world. And this is where it gets a little bit fun. It, I don't think it knows. Not this section. This is another sort of like a platforming area. But there's one section I want to show you guys. Splash. It's really, really fun. So we're going to get up through here. Jump up into this box and move it over to the right. We're then going to land on this box in a second when we pushed it through so that we don't get to the, the speed of the kill uh, plane. So we're going to be pushing over to the right hand side so that we're then going to be changing universe so that the box falls down. We're going to jump onto that box again. There we go. Jump onto the box. Jump over to here. Change universe just to like uh, make sure they can get the full jump over. Then change universe, push box. Off to get ready for work. No stress, dude. Have a good rest of your day. Catch you a little bit later on. And thank you for the good luck as well. We'll see you soon, buddy. Yeah, take it easy. Take a chill. And uh, maybe catch you a little bit later on. You never know. And change universe. Jump up. And that area is done. Let's go. So, where are we at right now? Nearly 142. So, this is not bad. Because this area is taking about 12 minutes altogether. It's not too bad, actually. Like this has been a pretty fast, uh, a pretty fast mission. Now the kind of the kind of first scope of what this area is trying to re relate to is that you know, it's always going to be somebody's birthday. So make a cake just in case, and then uh, if it's somebody's birthday, then it can be used as a good distraction technique. So there we go. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. Let's go. Happy birthday. Yeah. Okay. Pull lever. Let's go. <laughs> Regeltas, good to see you, buddy. By the way, Regeltas, do exclamation mark hello. You haven't got to see much of this yet. How much of this has just been known to puzzle solutions and how much of the glitches have you found to skip things? There's one major glitch. Aside from that, it's all route, uh, routing and uh, going fast. Basically, that's it. But yeah, Regeltas, do exclamation mark hello. Do exclamation mark hello. I wish you a wonderful day. I wish you a wonderful day, buddy. Uh, I might turn up one more soon. I might turn up like just by one volume, but that's still a nice, uh, a nice volume. Even if it's no one's birthday, free cake and party. True that. Game bully. The scholarship is on sale for five, uh, five dollars and twenty-four cents until the twenty-four, uh, twenty-fourth of March. But there's a deal for you guys. You might as well get it now. Routing wise, don't go to the middle one first. Go to the left one. Then go to the top right one, then the, the bottom middle. So, here we go. We're going to jump onto this greenery and then go through here because we're going to be up to the top and then we can change here. There's no other way to get on top of there, so that's how you do it. Ooh, now that's girthy. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Thank you, Cookie. We need to go up in this way and then go through. So, otherwise, you can't, uh, you can't jump up. This bit, you just literally walk over to the right. 
You like that so you don't hold back in typing it? That's not exactly, exactly what Girl says. That's exactly why I've done exclamation mark hello. Because I know some people don't want to interrupt in like an important moment and stuff. So I did something that I felt like was like appropriate for the situation as well. So I messed up this bit, of, uh, a bit here already. What we need to do is jump up through, then jump to the right, jump down, change universes, then jump back up, up and around, then grab this lever. We're then going to do the same thing. Jump back down. Uh, no, 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 we're not. We're going to change universe in this end. Then jump up to here, then jump down. And then, uh, shit. Yeah, change universe here. Go through here to the right. Then jump down again. Grab. Fall down. Change universe. And then to the right. There we go. So I can definitely do that a lot faster. Definitely do that a lot faster. Lauren, welcome into the stream, buddy. Hello, hello. This is so cool. No, you're so cool. No, you. No, you. All right, so that's the first area done. So this whole bit here is kind of like three rooms of past universes that we've been into. And it's kind of like, it's like a, it's like a nod to what you've done, basically. So once you have like a knowledge of like how to do the... Uh, the past universes, it becomes like very second nature of like how to do these sections. However, wait until you see the I section. Time loss is just future time save. Exactly, Chrysal. The next, the next, the next run that we do will be a PB. Easy. I know this for sure because there are some areas I missed, I missed, uh, messed up on. So we can definitely do it. Been lucky as you not feel 100% today. Migraine. I hope the migraine goes away smoothly, buddy. I hope it goes soon. But feeling past the worst now. Good, good, good. This game has really captured your heart. And same here. It's why I've invested a lot of my time into it, as you can probably imagine. Right. Ice level. No, no, no. Not ice level yet. Soon. So, down we go. And up we go. And there. Nice. Nice smooth transition. So, again, careful on how much you are... Uh, Universe swapping because you don't want to take a rip. And then you're going to push the box over to the left. And you're going to push the box again over to the left very shortly afterwards. Um, so that you're going to be bringing it back around. And then we're going to come back around afterwards. Uh, that's the fastest strat I've been able to figure out for this bit. There might be a faster strat here, but I don't really know. So we'll go with this one for now. We'll go with this one for now. Okay. And there we go. Now we go back over to the left. I'm going to change universe, swap around, make sure that we breathe for a second, then start pushing the block over to the left, over to the right even. Once we've done that, we're going to go back over to the left, regain some breath, and then do that again. Jump on top of the box, and then breathe immediately as we get free here. Now we're going to go down here, change universe, and keep on this universe. Reason for that is that we're going to push the box, but not all the way over. About here. So we're going to jump on top of the box. And then jump through it. To get to this little bit here. Change universe. Then we're just going to tap a little bit to the right. So that we can then just skip that whole section. And through we go. Huge time save there. Huge time save. And now we go down. Hit the lever. Boom. Good. I figured that little strategy... Um, about two days ago, super fast that. Super, super fast. Because, like, you'd have to go all the way around a few times just to kind of get the right uh, dimension of finally getting out of that whole uh, bit that you can't swap in. So that is a nice little, that's a nice little trick. That's a nice little trick. So, now that we've done that, so we're going to do the bottom middle uh, platform, which is the ice area. Now, the ice area is one of my favorites. You'll see why very shortly. Okay, so universe swap as we go down. So you don't uh, hit the uh, full plane time. We're then going to swap platforms. Push a block over into the middle. Universe swap. Jump. Get on top. S. Here we go. And then we just skipped a lot. <laughs> we just skipped a lot there. So that's my favorite section. Uh, so we're going to do that again. Jump up here. Jump up here. And down we go. Save a little bit of, uh, of falling. And boom. What we're going to do from here is move over to the right. 
Universe swap right here. Go around to the left. Push the blocks box over a tiny bit towards the left-hand side so that we can then get on the left-hand side and push the blocks block once more. We're then going to go to the left. Universe swap. Jump up in here and keep on pushing the block a bit more to the right. What we can then do, just to save a tiny bit of time, universe swap. Push the blocks a bit more so that it's got a bit more of a right push. Jump. Jump across. Make sure you land on that little edge. Universe swap. Push this block all the way over to the left. Go over to the right. Universe swap. And then we have got it. We can swap back. Done. That little bit of like of like curving around uh, towards the left and getting on top of that uh, that one block is a really nice speedrun tech. It's a really nice speedrun tech. So it makes me happy when I get that first try every time. So because otherwise you'd have to go over to the top right and then uh, jump over to the left. But no, you can just skip going to the top right by just uh, kind of getting on top of that block with uh, the universe swapping. So it's good timing. Mr. Casual, welcome into the stream. Hopefully you're doing well. Welcome into the debut speedrun of What Lies in the Multiverse. Welcome to the debut run. <laughs> nice, thank you. Now careful on this bit again. Careful. See, that's what happens. If you fall too fast, you then can't universe swap. That's what we were talking about earlier on, uh, Crunchy. If you're looking, if you go too fast, you can't go, you can't universe swap. So you have to be very careful with your managing of, of how fast you're falling. Even there, even there, that was enough to be in the sort of like the kill plane. So, uh, the kill speed. So again, be careful as you're falling. There we go. So that's what you want to do, but you have to be very careful because you, it's easy to fall super quickly. And Crunchy, uh, GC Crunchy, even welcome into the stream. Lovely to see you. Lovely to have you as well. What's good, my friend? What's good? Welcome into the debut speedrun of What Lies in the Multiverse. I've been uh, working quite hard on this run. And so far, we're coming up to the end, near end of chapter seven with sub two hours, which is not bad so far. It's not bad. Needed this after a phone repair. Hopefully the phone repair went all right, buddy. I, I imagine there's a little bit of out of pocket and stuff like that, but hopefully it all went well. And uh, come down and chill with us. We're going to be doing another run after this as well, so we're going to be trying to go for another PB attempt directly after this. Currently uploading over 29 gigabytes of photos and little videos you got during a film shoot today. It's taking ages. Oh, boy. Woof. That's a lot of, that's a lot of uh, footage there. Oh, the customer's phone's got it. The worst shakes. Oh, no. All right, you take it easy and take it very chill today. Then, yeah, don't uh, stress yourself out too much. Uh, hopefully, like the 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 like the just the shakes goes away a tiny bit. Um, I get that sometimes. Like when I'm full of anxiety, I, I like my hands will shake a little bit as well. So hopefully, you can just unwind, just chill down. You look after yourself, yeah. You look after yourself, buddy. Just about gone now. Good, 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 good. That's good to hear. Glad that you're feeling a lot better now, buddy. But like I say, just still take the time to chill. So this is where we're going to meet the interference. The scary, scary interference. And I am going to be getting ready to mute for the sake of uh, uh, tinnitus. So if there are any other tinnitus users, uh, just a heads up. I am going to try to quickly proceed to muting the game because it is quite a... Uh, uh, it is quite a tone that can trigger tinnitus, but it won't be for, won't be just yet. Okay, slowly prepare for badminton training. No worries, Cookie. Have a good time, and hopefully the training goes well. And thank you for the good luck as well. We'll get it easy. We'll get it. We'll get it. But no, you take it easy and have some good uh, some good physical fitness and some good times. All right, so tinnitus wa uh, warning coming up soon. Okay. Coming up very, very soon. So I'll be meeting shortly. From here. Just because it is quite a piercing tone, so I'll be meeting just temporarily. There we go. 
I think in a future patch of the game, they are going to introduce uh, an ability to turn off the uh, turn off the tonight the, of that that tone. So for those who are tonight to sufferers, you will have a chance to be able to just remove that tone completely. Now. In this little section here, it's going to bring you back to the menu. When I have the auto splitter, it's going to actually pause in game time. We're currently running RTA, so right now we're just going to keep on pressing enter quickly and just go immediately in back into the game. So, technically, there would be a slight difference of IGT and RTA here, but um, just because the auto splitter isn't technically done yet. Uh, this run, once we get the IGT and the auto script done, this run will be grandfathered um, in lieu of having the ability to actually have a difference of IGT and RTA. So right now we're just doing this purely on, on RTA. So just for to for those who are watching the uh, VOD in advance, uh, no, in the past, but uh, in the future, this is uh, what's going to be happening. Is this run is going to be a grandfathered run, but. For the sake of getting this run onto the speedrun boards, this is what is going to be happening for the meantime. And then, boom! And King Kush, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're well and you're keeping good today. Pleasure to have you and pleasure to see you as well. And Chapter Split is incoming. Now, we're in Chapter 8, sub two hours. Oh my goodness. Sub to our chapter eight. That's huge. That is genuinely huge. So let's fucking go, shall we? Let's go. Sub two hours so far. Uh, again, I've not done a full run. So to get to here in under two hours, I am pretty, pretty happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Um, let's continue to get this run done. We've got two chapters left, everybody. Only two chapters of the game left. Now, chapter 9 is still a challenge. I haven't officially rooted chapter 9 yet. But chapter 9 involves a lot of timing of uh, of universe swapping, like, in itself. Because um, there's a whole section where the universes will swap on its own accord. So we need to get better at rooting that. But uh, routing that, sorry, I say rooting, routing, whatever. Um, but we'll get it. Okay, so because we don't have the Voyager... We can't uh, do the door. Hi, Chocolatey. Hello. What a great meme. What a great random meme to come into, right? What a great one. Hi, Chocolatey. Welcome into the stream. Hopefully you're well and keeping chill. Welcome in. Hello. What's good? What's good? This is faster than you getting out of the starting area of any Souls game. Mood. Okay. Oh, here's a fun little bit. Here's a fun little ditty, uh, ditty for you guys. Watch this. <laughs> I'm in danger. So we can actually, um, wow, really? No shit. Okay. One second. Let's do this fast. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. <laughs> I just didn't press up quickly enough and, uh, there was enough, uh, fall distance that I would have taken to death. So whoopsie doopsie. Time to save. That's neat speed tech. I figured that one out. And you know what's funny as well? Um, when the ladder goes the... When you try to grab it from the other direction, so the ladder's coming down, and you're trying to grab up to it, because of the speed of the ladder... Uh, you know what I'm going to show you? Screw it, I'm going to show you. It'll be a time save later on. By the way, squee! Hi, my friend. Welcome in. By the way, I forgot to mention this earlier on, but... I'm going to be taking Thursday off to Saturday, well, Thursday to Saturday off, uh, so I'll be streaming the next few days. Um, the No Reset Marathon is going to be in effect from Thursday onwards. I'm going to be hosting for a few days, and I'm also going to be running. So I'll be doing some at announcements when I go, when I've been, when I do my hosting shifts. So from Thursday onwards, the only, the, the No Reset Marathon is going to be uh, doing some charity speed, uh, charity speed runs. So it's going to be a good time. And Mac Davis, welcome into the stream. New speedrun game, you say? You're interested in this the last time you saw, you saw play this? It must have been good. Yep. I've been spending a lot of time in this, Mac Davis, trying to make an auto splitter and stuff for that as well. So this has taken a lot of my... Like, this has just uh, been my investment for the last uh, last uh, week or so. So it's been good times. How are you doing, though? Mac Davis, hopefully you're well today and you're keeping chill. What's good? Um, you're going to take, take rest. No stress. Max, uh, uh, try and have a good rest of your day. Have a good sleep. And I hope that you uh, have a peaceful sleep and a good wake up when you do. So we'll see you very soon. 
I still do Moby Nights. Moby Nights? What's Moby Nights? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, Joshi. I, I don't actually know what that is. And uh, Bryce Guy. No, not Bryce Guy. Batfedge. I saw B. And I thought it was. Uh, anyway. Batfedge, what does a dolphin ask when he doesn't understand? Uh, can he be more pacific? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh, boy. Um, I'm still doing movie nights. I should do soon. This week might be a little bit tough. Um, this week might be a little bit tough, but afterwards, no problem. We'll figure out some stuff. Getting on, we're getting on, getting on with it. Thanks. Glad to see you in good spirits too. I had to fix my sleep schedule last night as well, Mactavius. So my sleep is back to good, good order, and I'm feeling back on point as well. So it feels good, man. You just sent off your very first marathon submission today. Good luck, Chrysal. Chrysal, can we get some good luck in the chat for Chrysal, please? Hopefully, you'll be able to get it. And hopefully you get to be able to showcase uh, your runs for a good cause. I hope that you manage again to get into a marathon at some point soon. All the best, my friends. All of the absolute best. All right, here we go. Oh, here we go. Every time I see you, I think you can't be more beautiful than this. But every time I see you more and more. Oh, my goodness me. Handsome, perfect. I am anything. I'm far from perfect. <laughs> but, bitch, I will be the first to say that I'm anything anything far from perfect but i do what i can right that's the most important thing is that we do what we can and we give as much energy as we can but i'm, I'm far from perfect and i'm far from handsome as well hell no <laughs> i mean that's just me being self-critical anyway so anyway bad veg i hope you are well though welcome into the stream casamoose welcome into the stream also hello uh, hopefully you're doing good also welcome into the stream hello uh oh oh god oh time loss my god I shouldn't press S there. That's a good idea. Maybe not pressing S. Not a good idea. Right. I'm going to showcase to you guys very shortly the little <laughs> the little thing I found the other day. Like, I think I actually uh, I made uh, Aaron kind of go, what? At one point, because this bit was really, really funny, actually. Nah, no reset, Ketsy. No reset yet, anyway. So, are you guys ready to watch a funny little thing? So, we're going to jump off here. And as soon as we bring this ladder down, we're going to try to go up in it immediately. So here we go. Oh, damn. Okay, it didn't work. All right. No worries, then. I'm not going to showcase the thing because it didn't actually happen. All right, no problem. But basically... Oh, I know what it was. Okay, screw it. I'm going to show you. I know what it was. Okay. So that one there. So, it didn't happen, but you saw that I grabbed onto the ladder there uh, uh, from jumping up. When you jump up at a specific height and you grab onto the ladder, um, it'll throw you down so hard that it will kill you. Basically, that's what's, that's what's going to happen. I showed you the near act, but not the official death, so psh, it's fine for now. Um, maybe you guys can try it at home. If you're watching the VOD on YouTube, you guys can try it at home and, uh, and have a good little giggle, maybe. You can have a good little giggle. Right. Uh, where are we now? We need to go up. Yes. Here we go. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> okay. How about this? Uh, Cal, after this, after this run, I'll show it to you. Yeah. I'll show it to you. Hi, Cal. <laughs> I recognize the name now from the Discord. Hi. Uh, Cal is one of the coders from this game, by the way, everybody. So can we get a hello to Cal, please? Oh, Chow, even. That's the one. Uh, chaos control. Um, hi. <laughs> I, I, I literally figured it out yesterday. So it was, it was really funny. It was really, really funny. Holy, uh, holy. Uh, hello is what I was trying to say. Epic Snare, welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're keeping chill and you're doing good. Also, what's good, my friend? What's good? And you returns out for slave. Welcome in as well to the stream. Hello, buddy. Hello. So, oh, by the way, um, oh, Lauren. <laughs> Lauren! Lauren, you cheeky son of a bitch. Thank you so much for gifting yourself to Chow. Uh, t is it, is it Chow, by the way? Or is it K uh, K.O.? Uh, is it, uh, how do I pronounce your name fully if that's, uh, if, if I can just uh, be kind and asking because I, I butcher saying people's names a lot. So, oh, okay. Here we go. Careful. There we go. If you want someone to blame for some of the worst bugs you're here. <laughs> hey, I'm not saying this bad thing. I'm saying it's a funny thing and I like funny things. So there we go. It's kind of like cow. Or just cow. 
I'll go with cow. Uh, <laughs> thank you, buddy. Thank you. And enjoy the gifted sub that you received from Lauren. Lauren, thank you again very, very much for the gifted sub to the community. That sub was almost in time with the music you listened to. Let's go. You're a bitch, thank you. Not a son of a bitch. I mean, that's true. Shit. <laughs> Official conduit, welcome to the stream, also, buddy. Hello, and I hope you're keeping well, also. Hopefully, everything's chill and you're having a good day so far. Welcome, welcome in. Literally, like 0.1 bar off from being I on put time. A whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. That's also pretty on time as well with putting bags of jelly beans up your ass. Anyway, that scared you? Don't get scared then, foreheads. <laughs> The best kind of response I could offer right now, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on up, moving on up, and moving on up. No, you got me trying. Anyway, fantastic day so far. Hope the run is going well. The run is going very well so far. Official Conrad, this is the day you speed run. The very first time it's ever been done on Twitch, on YouTube. Uh, this is the debut speedrun. And I've been working a lot on trying to get an auto splitter made for it. There's still some things I need to do. Um, still, one of the memory addresses that I'm looking at is not the most consistent, but I'm going to be doing this, what, like a bit to, to make it work. So we'll get there. We'll get there. But for the meantime, this is the, the first speedrun of it ever. And we're going to be doing another run directly after this as well. So it's going to be good times. It's going to be very good times. Right. Let's continue further more. So we're coming into chapter nine very shortly, by the way, everybody. We are currently two hours and six minutes into the run. Chapter nine is imminent. All right. And by the way, there's a lot of S and enter tapping. So... There's a lot of S and enter tapping. So make sure that, like, if you're doing this, make sure that you give your hands a good break because I'm going to be stretching my hands and doing some hand movements directly after this as well. Yeah, don't get scared then, forehead. Tea kettle, Nico. Daddy, please. Daddy of the corn, please. <laughs> why am I tea kettle? Why? I, I mean, I understand why I'm a tea kettle, but why am I a tea kettle? Why? It's the next question. All right, so this is like all this time, the very first place that we went to, this is just another entryway into the interference. And, hold on. Chapter 9, Split is incoming. Ooh. And. 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 All right. <sighs> Joe's barbecue and foot massage. <laughs> Joe's barbecue and foot massage. You better come down here, get some of this shit. Nice timing. <laughs> Len, nice timing, buddy. Nice timing. Thank you very much for the random meme. All right, so again, don't uh, try to press enter too many times here because you could accidentally get into the menu bit as I keep on doing. All right, final chaps, everyone. I'm estimating this to be maybe 225. Maybe 225. At a going rate, though, we are. Final chaps, Joe's oh, barbecue for massage. Exactly, <laughs> Len. <laughs> uh, good memes. Very, very good memes. Now, this is major spoil the spoiler warnings for everyone here. If you haven't played the game, please go play the game because this is like, this is the final chapter after all. So please go play the game if you haven't already. So, this is Everett. Hi, Everett. You don't have a hat. <sighs> Skipping through the dialogue. <laughs> Yeah, I burped. Yeah. I burped again, excuse me. So, like, there's a lot more dialogue skipping here, but, um, when we get to the actual next bit, it's gonna be tough, because as, as I mentioned, I've not rooted it, pro routed it properly. Um, with all the times, like, the time changes of the universes, I'm gonna try to get this on point, as much as on point as I can, but, again, 
I'll be able to optimize things a lot more soon. I've been spending so much time on the auto splitter that I've not properly routed it, routed it. But we'll get there. Right. From here, I shouldn't need to press S and enter too much because the dialogue will trigger on its own accord. <sighs> All right. Okay, okay, okay. Breathe for a moment. Let's go. This is where the fun properly begins. Let's go. So, as you can see there, there is that, uh, that bit of dialogue there. And it goes away on its own accord. So, we don't need to really press enter here. All we got to do is... Platform correctly, am I right? So, that's time save. We can, we can definitely save some time here already. So... We'll probably see a uh, we'll probably see a goal split in this chapter in our next run, so that's not too bad. Oh, up we go. Shit. Okay, I need to get better at this bit. I love the shadows here. If you see that, like that, that brief shadow of where of of us. Why did I just jump over to the right? I'm an idiot. Anyway. I don't know why I jumped off to the right there. I don't know what my brain was thinking. <laughs> okay, more time to save then. Put the box here. Jump up to the platform. Up we go. Get onto the leaves. And fall because I didn't press up correctly. God damn it. More time to save. But at least the box stays in its position. That's not too bad. But that was stupid. That was highly stupid. Here we go. Yeah, we got time saves. We've got time saves in future. The debut is always going to have some inconsistencies of, uh, of well, of good play. So that's fine. Oh, here we go. Right, I think from here is where the fun begins. So again, I'm definitely going to route this, uh, route this area out a lot easier soon. Because I definitely have not been doing this as optimally as I could. So I'm going to put it about like four blocks away from the, uh, from here. Because, um... That's the, like the right kind of the right kind of distance to be able to move the the box essentially. So what we need to do here, I don't think I'm not sure if there's any faster uh, route uh, route here. So it's going to go to here, put the box here, and then once we push the box enough, then we can jump up. So here we go. Oh, so that's another thing is like when you're jumping, make sure that you're facing the right direction so that you can actually get up on top. So, annoyingly, not enough. So I need to make sure the box goes here to get the right distance up. Okay, so I'm learning. I'm learning. All right. And that should be it. There we go. Okay. And we're going to be chasing the orb. Orb! <laughs> what is the GDQ? Orb! Oh my god, if we get this run in GDQ... Then we can start to uh, then we can start to get everybody saying orb, right? That's gonna be great. Orb! GDQ orb, let's go. <laughs> two, three, D. One, two, three, D. So you can start to hear the metronome now. As you go through each area, the metronome goes faster. You can probably hear it. Oh, that was close. That was extremely close, actually. All right. Nice. So that's a good, that's a good platforming there. That's a good platforming. All right. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to jump to the left first. Now you can hear it's going faster. Yeah, it is auto switching. Yes, it is. It is. All right. Up we go. This is why you have to be careful because, like, as we go through each level, for when the first metronome is introduced, it goes faster and faster and faster. So even there, like, even there after you've got the key, it's still going. 
All right, so I need to figure out a good route for this. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Nice. I didn't know you could actually do it from there. Oh, shit. Okay, hold up. Oh. There we go. Nice. Good fall, good fall. Um, I'm going to figure out the best way to do that soon. I'm going to figure the best way to do that. I know I can save a great deal of time there as well. So, that's no stress. Go up, through. Orb! And it's, I like that bit. Like, the interference isn't active there. Like, you know, to go through, uh, to go fast, you're just behind it. It's really, really cool. And here, for example, we can jump up on these areas. The, uh, the interference changes. It changes a lot, which is really cool. Ah, oh, such a good run. All right, we are probably about five minutes away from being done. I'd say about five, five, eight minutes. So there's a bit more dialogue skipping to do. So, we are nearly there. We are nearly, nearly there, everybody. The first completed run of this game ever. Tyserax, welcome into the stream also. Hello. And here comes the Blood River. Blood River. It is kind of scary. Blood River. It's the blood of our enemies. <laughs> That's my new song. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> no, well, apparently that, uh, that's, uh, that, no, okay, apparently they didn't. All right, yeah, cool. All right, cool. Great. Cheers, thanks. Great. Wow. Great. Cheers. Wow. <laughs> thanks, Leavy Space Sheep. <laughs> yeah, what a rude bird. What a rude bird. All right, so we get our dialogue here. Aubrey, Audrey Hepburn's iteration of Blood River can be heard in the Blood Porn OST. Oh, really now? Oh, really? Oh. Okay. And. Dialogue skipping. We're basically telling, hey, Everett. Stop being a dick. And face your fears. Basically, face your fears. Actually admit to your wrongdoings and admit that you're wrong and that you are um, an insolent little dick. <laughs> Maybe. But is that verb as rude as censor verb? Uh, Emotional damage. Oh, there we go. Sorry, uh, tinnitus. I forgot about that as well. And... There we go. So yeah, that's another point. I need to mute temporarily for the, the, the that pitch. If you change the lyrics of Moon River to Blood River in a meaningful way, would you sing it? Sure, why not? Why not? Uh, Someone needs to edit Nico singing Blood River into the instrumentals for Goldfinger. <laughs> I probably can, can't he? Oh, oh yeah, by the way, we are controlling this bit here. I forgot that, like, we are controlling easy hit over here. So all you got to do is hold right. We're nearly on the home stretch, everybody. Nearly on the home stretch. Spicy soul nugget. Go! Cool. All right, I'm going. I'm, Jesus, Menchi, I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Menchi, I am going. Hi, buddy. Welcome into the stream. Also, spicy soul nuggets. Well, not to you, also. Welcome to the stream. I missed you as well, buddy. Hopefully, all is good and chill. Hopefully, you're well, man. And El Porco. Oh, whoa. Oh, I would do the, the little finger things, but i got to hold right right now, but. Imagine I'm going like, ooh, woo, off camera. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Hopefully you're good, buddy. Nerdonis. Oh, my goodness me. 15 mums. Wow. Oh, my goodness me. Nerdonis. 15 mums, buddy. No, don't it. Swifty, 15 months of support. Buddy, how the hell are you keeping? Welcome into the stream also. Hopefully all is well. Um, by the way. 
Oh, yeah. DV, me keep forgetting that you combined those two memes and it caught you off guard. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite combo because I can do it for everything now. Uh, the, uh, Deviant, I'll need to show you again in a moment, actually. Oh, the allergies are killing you. No. I hope the allergies calm down a little bit. Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Careful. There's the tinnitus sound. There we go. All right. That was easy. <laughs> <laughs> Clagonog, thank you for the 15 bits. Also, thank you very much. Uh, didn't sleep well last night, so he's struggling at work right now. You also planning on quitting a job because it sucks, then you got to go on a job hunt again soon. If you do end up going on the job hunt, I hope that it's, you manage to find something smoothly and quickly. Uh, I sure move your experience, buddy. I'm sure that something would come like would uh, be available for you, man. So I've got I I I I, I imagine that like um. It shouldn't take too long for you to find a job. So here's hoping, buddy. And I understand very well the act of bad sleep. I managed to fuck up my sleep so hard that I went to bed at 1 p.m. and woke up at 8 p.m. I just fixed it last night, so thank fuck for that. Thank fuck for that. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh that was that was that was fun. Wow, that was fun. And El Porco, yes, you are a cheeky boy. I appreciate you very much, El Porco. Alright. <sighs> We had like the last two, three minutes, everybody. Yep. 1 p.m. waking up at 8 p.m. Yes, Yugi. That's how fucked it was. That's how fucked it was. So that was a good time. No, it wasn't. Anyway. So, yeah. And I'm going to tell you guys when we do our end split. Our end split will be just a little bit after the end credits like you know the 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 image of the, the the name the title of the game basically you need to leave work or you lose your sanity hopefully you can find something as well soon spicy song nugget that'll be like more applicable for you but hopefully soon yeah uh but do keep chill and well like and level-headed in the process as well been about 30 minutes making a sandwich because your cat was bugging you <laughs> oh bless from all around the bird you got some food that's important so let's go um at least you didn't go to sleep sometimes at midnight uh, or 1 a.m. And end up waking up sometimes at 10 a.m. I mean, I'd love to do that. I'd love to do that, Yugi. I'd love to do that. That actually sounds more applicable to me. Link, good to see you in the chat, buddy. Welcome in. Welcome into the literally the end of our debut speedrun of What Lies in the Multiverse. This is the very first speedrun ever. And uh, we, get to, we get to get on the boards, which is exciting. And we're going to be doing another speedrun afterwards. We'll be taking a short break after because, again, this has been a two-hour run. And my hands have been uh, severely pressing S and Enter quite a lot. So I will need to uh, I will need to uh, take a, a short bit to do handbrake, uh, hand stretches, go to the toilets, uh, stand up and stretch as well. All right, everyone. We are a minute away. About a minute away from the end of this run. This means this is sub two hours and 25 minutes. That is wild. That is wild. I thought this was going to be like a free for hour run, but no, we managed to get this down to two hours, 25 ish. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready, everyone? All we got to do now is talk to Leo. And... And not exactly, exactly, cow, exactly. No. All right. Time will be coming up very soon. So. Not yet. Not yet. There's a reason for this because of uh, the auto splitter. Do. Do. Done. Pricked. Done. That's the time. No! 